Chapter 1401 Ancient Map Mystery Yao Lao smiled when he saw Xiao Yan's joyous expression. He naturally understood just how much effort Xiao Yan had put into search for these map fragments. Let's go, the activity we created has been too much. It will likely attract the notice of some experts. Although we might not be afraid of them, we will end up attracting some unnecessary trouble if others learn we have the complete ancient map in our hands. Yao Lao's eyes swept around him before he spoke. I. Xiao Yan nodded when he heard this and forcefully suppressed the anxious emotions in his heart. He was aware that unnecessary trouble would not be all they would face if word of this were to spread. It would still be all right if it was only a map fragment, but they possessed a complete ancient map in their hands, causing its temptation to soar. Everyone knew that one would be able to obtain information related to the purifying demonic lotus flame with this map. Regardless of how strong the falling star pavilion was, it would end up in extremely great trouble because of this demon flame. Let's go. Yao Lao did not remain any longer after speaking. With a wave of his hand, he rushed into the distance, and within a couple of flashes, he had vanished across the horizon. Xiao Yan and the two ladies quickly followed behind him. The area gradually became quiet after Xiao Yan's group disappeared into the distance. This kind of silence continued for over 10 minutes before it was suddenly broken by the rushing sound of wind. Over a dozen figures rushed over from the distance. After which, they remained in the midair. Their eyes were stunned when they saw the mountain range had turned into flat land. What a frightening destructive force. I wonder who exchanged blows in this place. They actually destroyed this mountain range until nothing remained. Numerous extremely shocked voices could be heard in the sky. A moment later, a sharp-eyed person finally caught sight of a corpse on the ground. Some people quickly rushed down, and an exclamation spread across the land soon after. It is one of the three he demon ghosts, Dehizi. This old ghost had a peak dues on strength. Who could kill him? The three he demon ghosts are usually extremely close. Now that Dehizi has died, the conditions of the other two probably isn't any better. Hiss. These three fellows have committed all sorts of evil deeds and deserve this fate, but I wonder which expert possesses such skill. The three of them can fight with an elite Ban Sheng if they joined hands. Xiao Yan's group had already disappeared into the distance, while these people were feeling extremely shocked because of Di Zi's corpse. The rushing sound of wind appeared 5,000 kilometers away from the location of the big battle earlier. A couple of figures appeared on the top of a mountain. They were surprisingly Xiao Yan's group. No one will be able to chase us here. I have already removed our auras along the way. Even an elite Du Sheng would have difficulty chasing us. Yao Lao landed and laughed. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded. Their gains this time around were really too plentiful. These three old ghosts might have done all sorts of evil things, but they did possess a rich stash. Xiao Yan's group had ended up benefiting this time around. Try that ancient map. I am very curious to witness what happens when all of the fragments have been gathered. Yao Lao waved his hand. The space around them suddenly became distorted. With the sealing of this space, they would be able to react in time should anything unexpected occur. Xiao Yan nodded after hearing Yao Lao's words. His finger rubbed his storage ring, and a few ancient map fragments flew out. They remained suspended in front of him. An excitement once again surged into Xiao Yan's eyes as he examined these ancient map fragments, which appeared extremely old. He involuntarily rubbed his hands together before he carefully began to put the map fragments together according to the lines. The speed at which Xiao Yan put them together was extremely slow. As time flowed, a complete ancient map gradually appeared in front of Xiao Yan's group. Xiao Yan heaved a sigh of relief in his heart after the final map fragment was reformed. His heated eyes studied the ancient map before he became slightly startled. The complete ancient map did indeed reveal a map of some land, but the lines on it were quite ordinary. There was no exact target or route. At a glance, it was like a picture that had randomly been drawn. This. Xiao Yan's face was startled as he looked at the lines on the map. His heart gradually sank. Could it be that the ancient map, which he had searched for so many years, contained no information? Do not be anxious. This ancient map is extremely old. It is impossible for it to be used to intentionally fool someone. It definitely is a mystery. Yao Lao appeared much calmer as he voiced his thoughts. Huh. Xiao Yan let out a long breath. He tried his best to calm himself as his eyes slowly sweep over the ancient map in an attempt to find something different. However, there was nothing suspicious about other than an extremely demonic fire lotus. Try dripping a drop of blood on it. 
Yao Lao thought for a moment and came up with a suggestion. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after hearing his words. He nodded and cut his middle finger. A drop of blood landed on a corner of the ancient map before slowly seeping into it. However, there was no reaction after everyone waited for a moment. There was only a drop of blood on the map. Yao Lao softly sighed when he saw nothing happen. He shook his head and fell silent Xiao Yan was startled as he continued to examine the ancient map. There was a disappointment that could not be hidden in his eyes. Kai Lin by the sight also shook her head and felt it was inappropriate to say anything. She was aware of just how much effort Xiao Yan had put in for the purifying demonic lotus flame. They had obtained this complete map after much difficulty, but now found that it did not contain any information. This was naturally quite a big blow to him. Silence reigned between the few of them, causing the atmosphere to fill with pressure and become heavy. The joy from having been victorious earlier had completely scattered. This silence continued for a long time before Xiao Yan finally sighed. He glanced at the ancient map in front of him and shook his head. Since it is useless, what is the point of keeping it? A cluster of heavenly flames suddenly rose in Xiao Yan's palm after his words sounded. This flame swept over the ancient map. Xiao Yan's sudden act shocked Yao Lao. Yao Lao was just about to stop Xiao Yan when his eyes suddenly shrank. He questioned, why can this ancient map not be burned? Xiao Yan and the two ladies hurriedly shifted their eyes to the cluster of flames when they heard Yao Lao's voice. They saw that this ancient map, which appeared as though it would break if it was pulled, did not wilt no matter how Xiao Yan's heavenly flame burned it. Moreover, it did not show any signs of being incinerated. Increase the strength of the flame. Yao Lao's eyes focused on the unaffected ancient map. He suddenly commanded in a deep voice. Xiao Yan's heavenly flame was formed from the merger of four heavenly flames. Its strength could burn mountains and boil seas, yet it was unable to burn an ancient map. There was definitely something amiss. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard command, but he hurriedly urged his heavenly flame on. Ha hu. The flame fiercely burned. Its high temperature caused the space around them to distort, yet no matter how Xiao Yan strengthened the flame, the ancient map did not show any signs of turning into ashes. However, as the intensity of the flame increased, the lines on the map had slowly become brighter. They appeared as though they were intending to break free from the map. Joy was revealed in everyone's eyes when they saw the lines. Xiao Yan continued to strengthen the flame without any urging, and the heavenly flame in his body was forced to its limit. As the flame burned with increasing intensity, the lines on the ancient map became brighter. At a certain moment, the ancient map suddenly shook. Many lines leaped from the ancient map and turned into ancient characters that floated in the air in front of everyone. Two moons appear at once to fill the sky. Nine planets form a grand array on high. The all-engulfing tide gives birth. Demonic flame descends again to earth. Yao Lao slowly read these ancient characters as a shock gradually surged over his face. What does this mean? Xiao Yan frowned. He didn't understand the meaning of the characters. Yao Lao softly exhaled. He said, two moons appearing together and nine stars aligning is referring to a special natural phenomenon. However, this occurrence only appears once every thousand years. A world tide appearing refers to the unusual phenomenon that will be created because of this scene. You should also understand the final sentence. The day when the world tide appears is the day that the purifying demonic lotus flame appears in the world. Xiao Yan was stunned. He immediately asked, it will only appear once in a thousand years? Does that not mean that we will not have a chance? If we count the years, 997 years have passed since the last world tide. In other words, there are only three years left. Yao Lao shook his head and sighed. He said, it's just as well. The purifying demonic lotus flame is too powerful. Forget about you, even I would not be able to subdue it. If one forcefully tried to subdue it, one would suffer from a backlash. These three years will give you sufficient time to increase your strength. In these three years, you must reach the Dusheng class. Otherwise, you will only be able to watch the demon flame appear. Ugh, I have worked hard for many years to only obtain this information. Xiao Yan bitterly laughed. According to what the characters read, the demon flame will appear in the world when the correct time arrived. At that time, everyone would have the chance to subdue it. What was the point of finding the ancient map? Yao Lao spread his hands. If one thought about it this way, it was indeed not worthwhile. Ugh. Xiao Yan helplessly sighed. He glanced at the ancient map that remained in the flame. 
He extended his hand into the flame to retrieve it, but the moment he made contact with the ancient map, the demon lotus image on it suddenly moved. The demonic lotus appeared as though it was alive as it turned into a glow that shot into the spot between Xiao Yan's brows. This sudden change caused the expression of Yao Lao drastically to change. End of chapter. Chapter 1402. Purifying Demonic Lotus Saint. This unexpected change had occurred too suddenly. Even though Yao Lao was close to Xiao Yan, he was unable to react in time. Hence, he only came to a sudden realization after the light had shot between Xiao Yan's brows. His expression drastically changed. Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor reacted after Yao Lao. Their pretty faces turned pale because of their shock. This ancient map was too mysterious. No one knew whether that thing was good or bad. Being the main character involved in the sudden change, Xiao Yan was startled when the unusual light shot between his brows, but he immediately recovered. His eyes were shut as he controlled his spiritual strength and wildly scanned the spot between his brows. As he scanned it, he quickly discovered that there was a cluster of fist-sized light suspended beneath his brows. Xiao Yan was extremely certain that this light cluster was not something that belonged to him. Moreover, he had never sensed the existence of this thing in the past. Clearly, this thing was the mysterious object that had just shot from the ancient map into his brows. Xiao Yan's spirit stared at the white light cluster, but it simply floated there and did not do anything else. However, it was this kind of quietness that caused Xiao Yan to feel a chill within his heart. The unknown was always frightening, especially when it came to such a terrifying object. Additionally, this thing had appeared in his mind. Bastard. Xiao Yan ruthlessly cursed in his heart and inhaled a couple of deep breaths as he tried his best to recover his calmness. Only once he had recovered did he maneuver his spiritual strength to slowly approach the light cluster. The light cluster did not react when Xiao Yan approached. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength came closer. His spiritual strength quietly gathered together as it prepared to launch a fatal attack on this mysterious thing. Xiao Yan came closer. Just when he was about to use his spiritual strength to encircle it, a white light suddenly shot out of the light cluster. It was like a lightning as it shot into Xiao Yan's soul. Xiao Yan's heart was startled when he sensed this unexpected change, but he did not panic. He swiftly maneuvered all of his spiritual strength and formed an extremely powerful shield in front of him. Nevertheless, this weak-looking white glow penetrated through his spiritual defenses without being hindered. It shot into his soul in front of his shocked eyes. Xiao Yan's body suddenly stilled when the white light shot into his soul. A painful expression surfaced on his face. Yao Lao's heart immediately sank when he saw the pain on Xiao Yan's face. His large hand pressed on Xiao Yan's head with lightning-like speed, and his spiritual strength was preparing to forcefully charge into Xiao Yan's body. Huh. However, Xiao Yan suddenly opened his eyes and began to pant when Yao Lao's spiritual strength was about to enter his body. What happened? Yao Lao hurriedly halted his actions and asked a question when he saw Xiao Yan open his eyes. I don't know. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air and shook his head. After which, he pointed at the spot between his brows and said, it is here. No matter how I try, I am unable to touch it even a little, but it simply remains there without any signs of moving. How old were you when we first met? Yao Lao stared at Xiao Yan before suddenly asking. Ugh. 15. Xiao Yan was startled. He glanced at Yao Lao with some surprise. Clearly, he did not understand Yao Lao's intentions. Yao Lao sighed in relief only after hearing Xiao Yan's reply. He bitterly laughed, I was afraid that someone had possessed your body. Some ancient experts might be physically dead, but their spirits are left behind. Moreover, if a spirit is powerful enough, it will be able to devour another person's soul and occupy that body. Xiao Yan widened his mouth. He could only bitterly smile and shake his head. What is that thing? Yao Lao's expression was a little grave as he asked. Xiao Yan rubbed his brow. A moment later, he said, I am also unsure. Upon contact with it, I was only able to receive some information. There were four words in that information. What are they? Yao Lao asked. Purifying demonic lotus saint. Xiao Yan spoke each word with a pause. Purifying demonic lotus saint? Yao Lao was slightly startled. He immediately pondered the words as he sat alone on a rock to the side. It appeared as though he had some impression of this name. Xiao Yan, Kai Lin, and the little fairy doctor exchanged glances when they saw Yao Lao sit down. They quietly waited without making a sound. This wait continued for around 10 minutes or so before Yao Lao finally shook his head. 
His eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan as he softly said, if I have guessed correctly, this purifying demonic lotus saint should be a top expert 10,000 years ago. Moreover, he was once the owner of the purifying demonic lotus flame. The owner of the purifying demonic lotus flame? Xiao Yan and the two girls were startled. This purifying demonic lotus saint was actually that powerful. He was able to become the owner of the purifying demonic lotus flame? No wonder he would be given such a title. This purifying demonic lotus saint was an extremely well-known person 10,000 years ago. I have read a little about him in some ancient books. It is rumored that this person was known as the expert closest to a Du Di in that era. Yao Lao slowly explained. An expert closest to a Du Di. Xiao Yan clenched his hand without realizing it. It was unexpected that this purifying demonic lotus saint reached such a level. His title was really extraordinary. Could that thing under my brows be left by the purifying demonic lotus saint? Xiao Yan asked. It is likely the case. This ancient map is likely something that the purifying demonic lotus saint left behind. Yao Lao nodded. He looked at Xiao Yan's somewhat uncertain expression and bitterly laughed, I also really don't understand what has happened. However, based on the record that I have read in the ancient books, this purifying demonic lotus saint might be a little heretical, but he can be considered quite upright. It is likely that he will not use some overly shameless methods. That thing under your brow will likely not pose much of a threat to you. Xiao Yan involuntarily rolled his eyes. This reasoning was a little too forced, but he did not have another answer at this moment. All he could do was hope for the best and pray that this thing would not bring him any trouble. I think that this thing hidden within the ancient map will be related to the purifying demonic lotus flame. Ha ha, this might be the benefit of collecting the ancient map. Yao Lao laughed. At this moment, all he could do was comfort Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head. Since the situation had developed like this, it was pointless for him to be dispirited. All he could do now was to believe that the situation was just as Yao Lao had described. This thing was a benefit from completing the ancient map. However, the only thing that caused Xiao Yan to relax was that he did not sense any danger from the cluster of light. His spirit had reached such strength that he would ultimately feel something if he faced any danger. However, Xiao Yan did not sense anything from the mysterious light cluster that caused him to feel a danger. Let's just quietly wait and observe this thing. Yao Lao patted Xiao Yan's shoulder. His expression was a little serious as he said, now, you should be thinking of how you can raise your strength to the Du Sheng class within these three years. I need not say anything more regarding the strength of the purifying demonic lotus flame. Honestly speaking, if the current me met the purifying demonic lotus flame, there would only be one fate that awaited me. I would turn into its fire slave. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth slightly twitched. He naturally understood what a fire slave was. It was the slave of a flame. The slave's mind was controlled by a heavenly flame, but only some extremely powerful heavenly flames possessed such an ability. Even the 3000 burning flame did not possess such an ability. Based on Xiao Yan's guess, it was likely that only those heavenly flames ranked in the top three could make a fire slave. In the past, I was worried about how you would handle the purifying demonic lotus flame if you were to find it. Fortunately, there is a little more time than I expected. Yao Lao smiled. He continued, you are currently at the peak of an eight-star Du Zun. There is still an incredible distance to a true Du Sheng. Even if your training speed is fast, it will be extremely difficult to reach the Du Sheng class within three years. If you do not reach the Du Sheng class, I will not allow you to go, even if the purifying demonic lotus flame really appears, because you are only going to attempt suicide. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled. He had not expected Yao Lao to be this afraid of the purifying demonic lotus flame. In that case, the only solution is to get Xiao Yan to reach the Du Sheng class within three years, right? Kai Lin opened her mouth and asked. I. Yao Lao slightly nodded. His eyes landed on Xiao Yan as he said, the chances of success are extremely low. Fortunately, you seem to be quite lucky. Xiao Yan was startled. He suddenly recovered. Teacher is saying. The Bodhisattva ancient tree? I. Yao Lao nodded. He smiled and said, unless you are able to obtain the Bodhisattva heart, it is basically impossible for you to reach the Du Sheng class within three years. Bodhisattva heart. Xiao Yan smacked his mouth. He bitterly laughed, this will not be easy either. The location of the Bodhisattva ancient tree is within the ancient wasteland region. It is a forbidden ground for humans. Moreover, the ancient region is huge. 
How can it be so easy to find the Bodhisattva ancient tree? If it was easy, would you even have the chance to go? Yao Lao smiled and chided him. He said, you possess a Bodhisattva seed in your hand. Although its purity is quite low, it should enable you to sense the Bodhisattva ancient tree. This is your advantage, and this is your only path if you really wish to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. Hence, you must obtain this Bodhisattva heart. Xiao Yan sighed. He could only nod his head. It seemed that he needed to head to the ancient wasteland region this time around. If he relied on his normal training speed, he would not be able to reach the Dusheng class within three years. Let's go. We will return to the Falling Star Pavilion and properly plan. If the news is real, the Central Plains will become Bedlam because of the Bodhisattva Ancient Tree. At that time, the Ancient Wasteland region will really become lively. Yao Lao stood up and faintly said, whether you will be able to reach the Du Sheng class within three years, will rely on the Bodhisattva Ancient Tree. End of chapter. Chapter 1403? Practicing the King Kong Glass Body. Xiao Yan's group did not continue to remain after making up their minds. They immediately moved and hurried back to the Falling Star Pavilion. After returning to the pavilion, the group rested for two days. Information related to the Bodhisattva ancient tree began to sweep across the central plains with a frightening storm-like speed during these two days. With the simple name, Bodhisattva ancient tree, the entire central plains had undoubtedly turned into a mess at this moment. Even the old demons who lived in seclusion had appeared because of this earth-shaking news. Although the ancient wasteland region was quite dangerous, the danger merely existed because there was insufficient allure. This time around, the allure of the Bodhisattva ancient tree was something that no one could resist. Hence, this so-called forbidden ground no longer deterred anyone. The Dusheng class represented the peak level across the continent. A countless number of people had fought their entire lives in order to reach this legendary level. As long as there was even the slightest thing that could raise the chances of them reaching that level, everyone would pounce over without any hesitation. Even if they were moths pouncing into a flame, none of them would hesitate even a little. Clearly, the appearance of the Bodhisattva ancient tree stirred a great storm across the central plains. While various factions throughout the central plains were experiencing a great commotion, Xiao Yan, who had rested for two days, gradually recovered. However, he did not leave. Instead, he found a secluded chamber and undertook a retreat. After having heard Yao Lao's words, Xiao Yan's heart had honestly began to view the purifying demonic lotus flame seriously. He was clearly aware that Yao Lao would not lead to him, and Yao Lao's experience was far from what he could compare with. Since Yao Lao had spoken such words, Yao Lao would definitely not allow him to touch the purifying demonic lotus flame unless he reached the Dusheng class. In that case, he could only start to concentrate on his next aim, the Bodhisattva ancient tree that was about to appear. If he wished to reach the Du Sheng class within three years, he needed to borrow the strength of the Bodhisattva heart. Otherwise, it was impossible to advance in time. Time was something that Xiao Yan was aware of after thinking about training in the heavenly tomb back then. The energy in that place was a couple of times denser than in the outside world. Xiao Yan might have trained three years within the heavenly tomb, but if he had not obtained the inheritance of his ancestor, Xiao Xuan, it probably would have been impossible to reach his current level, and one would find it more difficult to train during the later stages of the Du Zun class. He was currently only at the peak of an 8-star Du Zun. There was still the 9th star and the peak of the 9th star above him. After reaching the peak, he would still need to experience the 9 changes in order to break through to the Du Sheng class. With this many steps, it was impossible for an ordinary person to finish the training within 30 years, much less in a mere 3 years. Even though Xiao Yan possessed an extremely great talent and had the aid of many medicinal pills, it was impossible for him to reduce this amount of time by 10 times or more. Hence, he needed to take this opportunity to enter the ancient wasteland region and obtain the Bodhisattva heart. Only with the Bodhisattva heart would his strength soar within three years and reach the Dusheng class. Otherwise, when the purifying demonic lotus flame appeared in three years' time, he could only be an observer that watched this heavenly flame become someone else's property. Xiao Yan was unable to endure such a thing. Hence, he had to obtain the Bodhisattva heart. Moreover, the Bodhisattva ancient tree had clearly stirred the attention of many factions within the central plains. It was not as easy to successfully obtain the Bodhisattva heart from the hands of these countless individuals. There would also be some like Yan He Zi or stronger old demons among them. Hence, Xiao Yan must try his best to increase his strength. 
The fastest way to increase one's strength was undoubtedly to practice a high-class do skill. It was Xiao Yan's intention to practice the King Kong glass body, which he had just obtained during this retreat. This thing was a Tian class do skill and definitely possessed an extraordinary strength. If he could successfully practice it, he would be more confident during this trip to the wasteland region. The scent of sandalwood lingered within the quiet room. Xiao Yan sat on a stone bed. He clenched his hand and a dark golden scroll appeared in it. He lifted the scroll and he saw a couple of ancient words on the side. King Kong glass body. Xiao Yan gently exhaled and placed a scroll on his forehead. This Tian class do skill was not as troublesome as the great heaven creation palm. One could just use one's spiritual strength to obtain it. The reason that it was so troublesome last time was because that was the elite Du Sheng's intention. The scroll touched Xiao Yan's brow while a thought passed through his heart and a golden light shot out of the scroll. An enormous amount of information surged into Xiao Yan's mind like floodwater. The King Kong glass body, Tian class low level Du skill, turns one's body into metal that nothing can pierce or destroy. When one fully masters this Du skill, one's body turns into King Kong. Their body becomes 99 feet in size, extremely strong, and a dazzling golden light appears. One's fist will shatter the sky, while one's feet will crack the land. After reading the large golden words that reverberated around his head, Xiao Yan was able to sense just how domineering this Du skill was. This was a Du skill that used Du Qi to strengthen one's physical body. Upon studying this Du skill's method, he involuntarily let out a sigh of admiration. It was indeed a powerful Du skill that could only be created by an elite Du Sheng. The current Xiao Yan could be considered to have extremely picky eyes. The Du skills that he had practiced included some Tian class Du skills, so his practice of this skill was quite smooth. It was said that all techniques would be clear after one mastered one technique. The various Du skills might have different training methods, but all of them ultimately shared the same route. Once one mastered this point, it was not difficult to learn other Du skills, with the exception of some unique ones. In order to practice this King Kong glass body, one needed to merge one's Du Qi with one's bones, blood, and flesh using a unique method. The Du skill was harsh on one's physical body. Fortunately, Xiao Yan's physical body had undergone many refinements by various natural treasures. Although he did not dare to call his body undefeatable, it was at least able to withstand the harsh requirement needed to practice the King Kong glass body. Huh. Xiao Yan exhaled through his mouth. He slowly shut his eyes and began trying to practice this so-called King Kong glass body, according to the method recorded on the scroll. Crack crack. Soon after Xiao Yan shut his eyes, a golden light shot out of his body before it suddenly swelled a little. There was even a faint bone cracking sound that appeared. This growth became faster as the golden light became denser. Within less than half a minute, Xiao Yan's body had become twice its size. At a glance, he appeared like a small giant. Moreover, his originally pale skin had been dyed a dark golden color. Xiao Yan's body swelled to twice its size before it ceased becoming stronger. The golden light gradually dimmed and his body swiftly shrank. Within the blink of an eye, it had returned to its previous state. Grug. Xiao Yan suddenly opened his eyes after his body shrank back to its original size. A mouthful of bright red blood was spat out, dyeing the ground red. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth twitched after spitting out a mouthful of fresh blood. His expression became quite ugly. This damn scroll did not mention that practicing this King Kong glass body requires one to endure an intense pain. Imagine a person's body suddenly swelling a couple of times its size, just what would the body feel? Its skin would tear, its muscles would break, its bones would shatter. No wonder there's such a harsh requirement for one's physical body. If it was someone with a weaker constitution, the first swell from earlier would have caused their body to burst apart. Xiao Yan shook his head in a speechless manner. He quietly sighed. Regardless of how much pain he felt, he needed to practice it. It was impossible not to pay a price if one wished to obtain great strength. If Xiao Yan was able to endure this kind of intense pain, he would get used to such a transformation with his constitution. At that time, he would be able to truly unleash the might of the King Kong glass body, but he needed to continue swelling his body, allowing his skin, muscles, and bones to get used to this kind of intense pain. Ugh, practicing this do skill is a kind of torture. Xiao Yan miserably sighed in his heart. He once again shut his eyes as a golden light shot out. His body swelled once again before shrinking after which, it swelled and shrank again as fresh blood was spat time and time again. 
it was as though blood was free as he continued to spit it out of his mouth. Fortunately, the fresh blood that was spat out diminished with the flow of time. Half a month passed while Xiao Yan was undertaking a retreat. During this half a month, the central plains had descended into chaos. Countless factions had already dispatched their people to head near the ancient wasteland region, but the main forces did not move because they were waiting for the accuracy of the information to be confirmed. Once the Bodhisattva ancient tree truly appeared, it would create an unusual phenomenon. At that moment, the entire central plains would be able to sense the change. Only when they truly sensed this kind of phenomenon would these factions, which were ready to move, truly become excited. Another five days slowly passed with this restlessness. When the first ray of morning light shot to the land on the sixth day, a clear aura suddenly began to sweep from the northeastern sky across the central plains. It was like a wave that suddenly swept over the sky and scattered into the distance. Anyone who inhaled this clear air would have a similar image appear deep within their minds. It was that of an ancient towering tree. An intelligent aura spread from this ancient tree. This was the legendary Bodhisattva ancient tree. A commotion had finally broken out across the central plains at this moment. End of chapter. Chapter 1404. Wasteland Town. There were a cluster of quiet rooms deep within the Falling Star Pavilion. All of these rooms were built for the elders of the Falling Star Pavilion. Only elders had the qualification to train in these rooms, since the energy there was the densest within the star realm. Many elders would gather in this place on an ordinary day to spar and train. It was naturally no different at this moment. Many elderly figures were standing around the empty ground outside of these quiet rooms as they chatted merrily. Bang! This kind of peaceful atmosphere did not last for long before it was suddenly broken by an intense explosion. Immediately, many stunned gazes shot over. They landed on a quiet room that was a short distance away as it suddenly blasted apart. There was a golden light vaguely flickering from it. This is. Many elders were stunned upon seeing this light. Bang! Another loud sound appeared as the tough room was forcefully blasted apart. After which, a 70-foot-tall yellow golden giant stood up from the quiet room in front of many stunned eyes. Its steps shook the mountain as it walked out of the ruins of the room. After which, it explosively roared at the sky. The frightening sound immediately became a real substance that swept apart like a storm. That powerful sonic wave spread to every corner of the star realm. Those elders who were near it were forced back by over a dozen steps before their bodies were stabilized. What is that thing? Most of the elders' expressions changed when they sensed the frightening strength of the yellow golden giant. They could sense an extremely dangerous aura from it. It was as though that big fellow only needed to throw a punch to smash them into mincemeat. This feeling caused the eyes of many elders to involuntarily twitch. The weakest among them was barely a Zun, while the strongest were eight or nine star Zuns. However, even these people felt an extreme danger when looking at this yellow golden giant. Fortunately, these elders did possess the quality that an expert ought to have. They swiftly scattered after feeling an initial shock and vaguely formed a circle around the yellow golden giant. They would attack and kill it if it displayed any unusual activity. Ha ha, is this the King Kong glass body? It does have some unique aspects. While many elders were solemnly watching the giant, a couple of figures had rushed over from the distance. They stopped in the air. They were Yao Lao, Kai Lin, and the little fairy doctor, who had hurried over after hearing the commotion. Those elders hurriedly bowed and greeted Yao Lao the moment he appeared. An elder involuntarily asked, Pavilion Chief, who is this? Ha ha, Xiao Yan. Yao Lao smiled and replied. The elders were immediately startled upon hearing this. They were stunned as they glanced back at the golden giant. None of them would have imagined that this thing was something that Xiao Yan had transformed into. Ha ha. The golden giant let out a mighty laugh in front of everyone's stunned eyes. A golden light immediately shot out, and the enormous body began to quickly shrink. Within a short dozen plus seconds, the giant morphed into a skinny figure. Cough. Xiao Yan did not cough out blood after returning to his original form, but he still let out a couple of intense coughs. It was clearly the result of the intense pain from his body's transformation. Unfortunately, the King Kong glass body that I have practiced is only 70 feet tall or so. There is still a gap with the 99-foot peak. Xiao Yan shook his head and spoke in a somewhat regretful manner. You should not be unsatisfied. If your physical body had not undergone the refinement of various natural treasures and medicinal liquids, you would not have reached this level, even if you had been given half a year. Yao Lao laughed. Xiao Yan grinned. 
he was aware that the rate of his progress was already considered very good. The reason he was only able to reach 70 feet or so was because he was limited by the strength of his body. If he obtained some more natural treasures that could refine his physical body, he might be able to leap all the way to the 99-foot peak. At that time, Xiao Yan was confident that he would be able to blast apart an ordinary peak du Zun class expert with a punch. After this period of training, my aura has also grown a little. The ancient wasteland region might be extremely dangerous, but there are also many natural treasures that cannot be found in the outside world. If I am lucky enough during this trip, I might be able to reach a 9-star Du Zun and successfully master the King Kong glass body before finding the Bodhisattva ancient tree Xiao Yan mused to himself. The current him needed to constantly strengthen himself. The information has been confirmed. The appearance of the Bodhisattva ancient tree is indeed true. Yao Lao looked at Xiao Yan before slowly speaking. Oh. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily pounded when he heard this news. He tilted his head. It was likely that the other factions had also started moving. This time around, you will lead some people to head to the ancient wasteland region first. You possess the spatial jade token that I gave you. Break it if you meet with any trouble that you cannot resolve. I will hurry over immediately. Yao Lao said. The Bodhisattva ancient tree's allure is too great. It is likely that even those ancient clans will intervene. Hence, it will be quite difficult to successfully obtain the Bodhisattva heart. Xiao Yan nodded. He was already mentally prepared for this and was unsurprised. I will need to remain in the Falling Star Pavilion to guard it. Therefore, you will have to rely on yourself during the journey ahead. Break the token once you enter the deepest part of the ancient region. After all, with your strength, that place will likely be quite dangerous. Yao Lao patted Xiao Yan's shoulder and softly sighed, this trip is far too important to you. Do your best. When should we leave? Xiao Yan softly asked. As soon as possible. You have been in a retreat for half a month. Many factions have already entered the ancient wasteland region during this period of time. Yao Lao replied. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. After which, he slowly declared, then we will get moving now. Xiao Yan had always did things with great speed. He would not stop even for a moment after making up his mind. He immediately moved and flew to the northeast. This time around, he brought four people with him. The people were Kai Lin, the little fairy doctor, King Lin and an elder, whose strength had reached the peak of the Duzun class. Yan Ho Zun Ji was currently undertaking a retreat and had to be left behind. Kai Lin and the little fairy doctor's fighting strength had reached the equivalent of an eight-star Duzun. They would be able to fight against an expert at the peak of the Duzun class if they joined hands. Due to being in possession of the triple jade green snake flower pupils, King Lin was also in control of an extremely powerful fighting force. Additionally, she possessed the mysterious strength of controlling snake-shaped magical beast, so she was quite important for this trip to the wasteland. Although this group was not large, it was quite powerful. With so many of them joining hands, things would not be difficult unless they meet an overly frightening opponent. The ancient wasteland region was located in the northeastern part of the Central Plains. It was quite far from the Falling Star Pavilion. Even though Xiao Yan's group traveled at their fastest and shuttled through a couple of wormholes along the way, it took six days before they reached the borders of the northeastern part of the Central Plains. During this journey, Xiao Yan's group came across human traffic from all directions, heading the same way as them. The destination of these people was the ancient wasteland region. This discovery caused Xiao Yan to softly sigh in his heart. It was unexpected that the temptation of the Bodhisattva ancient tree was this frightening. That place was known as a forbidden ground to humans in the past. The wasteland town was the last human town closest to the ancient wasteland region. Usually not many people lived in the town, and due to the ancient wasteland region's ferocious reputation, seldom anyone traveled here. Hence, the town remained deserted all year round, but it was different today. The appearance of the Bodhisattva ancient tree had attracted a countless number of people. This deserted town had turned lively in an instant. Noise could be vaguely heard from a couple of kilometers away. The first stop of Xiao Yan's group was this small town known as Wasteland Town. They had come later than others and naturally needed to obtain some information related to the ancient Wasteland region. Otherwise, their fates would likely be miserable if they simply charged in blindly. Hence, Xiao Yan settled the little fairy doctor's group down after reaching the wasteland town, before heading out to gather information. He only reunited with Kai Lin's group two hours later. How is it? Kai Lin involuntarily asked after seeing Xiao Yan's expression when they reunited. 
Ugh. Xiao Yan softly sighed. His finger rubbed his forehead as he said, according to the information that I have gathered, the group that entered the ancient wasteland region earlier have all died. There were even some Du Zun class experts among them. The expression of Kai Lin's group changed upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. All dead? Was this ancient wasteland region actually this dangerous? What should we do? The little fairy Dr. Knitter brows and asked. Some experts will enter tomorrow. We will follow behind that large group. Since this ancient wasteland region is called the forbidden ground of humans, it is definitely not a nice place. We will follow behind those people and observe the situation. Xiao Yan's finger gently knocked against the table. This ancient wasteland region was definitely mysterious. One needed to remain calm at all times in order to truly enter the deepest region. Any carelessness might result in the complete annihilation of a group. This price was something that he could not afford. Hence, he had to be cautious with everything he did. End of chapter. Chapter 1405. Entering the Ancient Wasteland Region. A densely packed group of people gathered outside of Wasteland Town the next day. Noise mingled together and turned into a loud tide that spread into the distance. Xiao Yan's group stood at the back. They studied the thousand-plus people gathered in front and involuntarily shook their heads in a speechless manner. It was the first time that they had seen experts gather in such a scale. A short distance in front of this enormous group was an original forest that was filled with an ancient aura. Thousand-foot-tall trees stood like numerous giants. The trees blotted out the sun. Even the light from the sky had difficulty lighting up the forest. At a glance, the deepest parts of the forest were permeated with a frightening darkness. Occasionally, some ferocious beast roars were emitted from within, causing one to feel a chill within one's heart. These people have all been lured by the Bodhisattva ancient tree, to the point of losing their reasoning. Xiao Yan shook his head. The ancient wasteland region was called the Forbidden Grounds of Humans. Even an elite Du Zun would likely die after entering it. However, many of those gathered here only had the strength of Du Zong's or even Du Huang's. If these people entered the ancient region, any trouble they met would kill them. They would turn into fertilizer for the towering trees. However, this ancient wasteland region is indeed quite terrifying. The little fairy doctor softly stated. Everyone felt tiny beneath the giant trees. One felt an insignificance when viewing an extremely long number of years that stretched back to ancient times. This region was known as the oldest place on the continent. Xiao Yan nodded. He withdrew his scanning eyes. There were too many people present. He was unable to find a familiar figure. After withdrawing his gaze, a commotion began to gradually spread across this enormous crowd. It seemed that these people were planning to charge in. Rumble. Thousands of people ran, causing the land to tremble and rumble. Loud roars sounded as countless numbers of figures rushed away with a swish sound and anxiously charged into this quiet ancient region. Xiao Yan could not help but shake his head as he watched the frightening activity these people created. He softly said, we will enter after most of them have gone in. Since they wish to be the ones at the front lines, we'll let them do as they please. The little fairy doctor's trio smiled and nodded upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. The group sat in a quiet spot. They waited for around half an hour before Xiao Yan finally got up. He looked at the forest, which appeared chaotic due to the large number of people. Only then did he wave his hand and say, let's get moving. Everyone, be careful. Xiao Yan's toes pressed on the ground after his words sounded. He took the lead as he transformed into a black figure that charged toward the ancient forest with lightning-like speed. Kai Lin, the little fairy doctor, and the others followed close behind. Chi. The light around Xiao Yan suddenly dimmed the moment he charged into the ancient forest. Waves of the scent of rotten leaves spread in all directions. Xiao Yan's figure paused for a moment after entering the forest. He glanced at the many small groups a short distance away, but he did not have any intention of stopping and chatting with them. His toes pressed on a tree branch, and his figure continued to hurry forward. Xiao Yan's group was quite fast. Within less than 10 minutes, they had already advanced over 5 kilometers. There was no unexpected occurrences along the way. Even though they occasionally met one or two ferocious beasts, these beasts would be attacked by everyone as a group and be turned into mincemeat. Although the journey was smooth, Xiao Yan ended up knitting his brow. The ancient wasteland region was known as forbidden ground to humans. It was impossible for it to be this peaceful. This place might only be an edge, but things should not be this smooth. A caution gradually rose in Xiao Yan's heart when these thoughts appeared. His forward-moving speed had slightly slowed. 
all he did was follow the large group in front from afar. With these people as the scouts, Xiaoyan's group would have sufficient time to react even if something unexpected occurred. Kai Lin and the others understood the thoughts in Xiaoyan's heart. Hence, they remained cautious as well. The caution felt by Xiaoyan's group increased as they gradually traveled farther from the border of the ancient wasteland region. Swish. A couple of figures flashed through the dimly lit forest and came to an abrupt halt on a huge tree. A poison fog has risen around here. The little fairy doctor's pretty eyes swept around her. She was extremely attuned to poison fog. Hence, she detected the poison vapor the moment it appeared. Xiao Yan's group was slightly startled when they heard her warning. The poison in this ancient wasteland region was an extremely troublesome problem. If one inhaled too much, even an elite Du Zun would end up dying from it. Consume these poison-resisting pills. It will help resist this poison. The little fairy doctor smiled. She handed a couple of scarlet medicinal pills out to Xiao Yan's group. She was indeed inferior to Xiao Yan when it came to pill refinement, but her understanding of poison was likely at a level where even ten Xiao Yan were inferior to her. Xiao Yan shrugged his shoulders. He took the medicinal pill and stuffed it in his mouth. He was just about to speak when the group in front suddenly transmitted miserable screeches, causing some chaos. Looks like they have been poisoned. Xiao Yan shook his head. The poisonous vapor in this place was quite lethal. If one's strength was inadequate, inhaling even a little of it could be fatal. These people had tasted the terrible fate from being overconfident. Let's get moving. Xiao Yan softly spoke after watching everyone consume the poison-resisting pill. They increased their speed. He did not possess the heart to rescue all those unlucky individuals. Since they had come this far and couldn't resist the greed in their hearts, they were responsible for their own fates. With the increase in their speed, the surrounding poison fog became denser. Those miserable cries that were being transmitted also became sharper. In the end, a wild and violent Du Qi fluctuation was emitted. It was likely from some of the poisoned experts who had lost their sense of reasoning. Bang! Xiao Yan's group frowned as they shuttled through the poison fog. An extremely intense Du Qi fluctuation was suddenly transmitted from a short distance in front of them. Xiao Yan's brow twitched when he sensed this fluctuation. He reduced his speed, and his body appeared on the ground. He looked at a completely black corpse on the empty ground in front of him. The face of the corpse still retained fear and regret. An elite Du Zun. Xiao Yan softly sighed. This unlucky fellow was a genuine Du Zun. It was unexpected that even an expert was unable to endure the poison. The poison in this place is likely a little mysterious. An elite Du Zun is able to unleash his Du Qi and wrap it around his body. An ordinary poison would be useless against them. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of contemplation as he muttered. The little fairy doctor was startled when she heard this. She immediately nodded and grabbed some poisonous vapor in her hand before absorbing it into her body. Her delicate figure suddenly trembled a moment later while her face turned quite ugly. What's the matter? Xiao Yan hurriedly asked when he saw the little fairy doctor's ugly expression. The little fairy doctor gently exhaled. She softly said, it is indeed strange. This is not poison, but it is poisonous worms. Poisonous worms? Xiao Yan was startled. His eyes stared at the poison fog, but he did not find any traces of poisonous worms. These poisonous worms are extremely tiny. They are so small that they are invisible to the naked eye. They drift within this forest. Those people have sucked in hundreds of millions of tiny poisonous worms. It is likely that these things also exist in your bodies. My body hides an extremely lethal poison. They will be poisoned to death by my poison key the moment they enter my body. Hiss. Xiao Yan's group involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air when they heard her words. Their bodies felt completely numb. Xiao Yan reacted quickly after feeling numb for a moment. The heavenly flame within his body suddenly began to circulate. It swept over every part of his body, and its high temperature seeped into his blood vessels. Chirp chirp. While Xiao Yan was circulating his heavenly flame, a chirping sound that caused one's skin to turn numb suddenly rang out. It appeared as though a countless number of poisonous worms were being burned to death in an instant. These damn things. Xiao Yan's expression was gloomy. He flicked his finger and clusters of black ashes shot out from it. They were the ashes from those poisonous worms that had entered his body. Xiao Yan swiftly gathered a cluster of heavenly flames within his hand after expelling the poisonous worms in his body. He subsequently slapped the flames into Kai Lin, King Lin, and the elder called King Cheng. 
its high temperature entered their bodies through their skin, and a chirping cry was also emitted from their bodies, causing one's heart to feel cold. Do not step out of a 50-foot radius around me. These poisonous worms can ignore the dew key protecting one's body. Xiao Yan's eyes cautiously swept around him as he opened his mouth and exhaled. A cluster of purple-brown flames with a trace of white floated above his head as a frighteningly high temperature spread apart and coincidentally covered the area within a 50-foot radius around him. The poison fog appeared to be startled when this high temperature spread. It quickly pulled away and no longer dared to permeate the 50-foot radius around Xiao Yan. Just this layer of poison fog alone will be able to block 80% of the people. This ancient wasteland region does live up to its reputation. Xiao Yan sighed in relief after expelling the poison fog. If not for the little fairy doctor's ability to detect poisons, the amount of poison worms in their bodies would have increased. Once the number of poison worms had reached a frightening level, they would have caused their group to suffer heavy casualties and injuries. He, however, just this alone will not be able to block us. Xiao Yan clenched his hand. His eyes were fiery hot as he looked toward the deeper regions of the ancient wasteland region. It was likely that some of those experts with ability had already charged in. Hence, he also needed to increase his speed. He would definitely obtain the Bodhisattva heart. End of chapter. Chapter 1406. Venturing Deeper. Miserable sharp screams continued to echo through the forest, which was saturated by a poison fog. These screams caused the forest to appear extremely sinister. Swish. The rushing sound of wind suddenly appeared within the dense poison fog. Some light from a flame vaguely cast a shadow. The surrounding poison fog seemed to be scared when the cluster of fire appeared. The poison fog withdrew on its own accord, forming a clear path. It seems that these poisonous worms are quite afraid of the heavenly flame. The little fairy doctor examined the path that had formed in front of them. She spoke with a smile. Most poisonous worms are yin and chilly in nature. A heavenly flame is a strong yang with a natural heat. The worms are naturally afraid of it. Xiao Yan smiled. He turned his head and looked ahead. The ancient wasteland region lives up to its reputation. Xiao Yan softly sighed in his heart once again. This was only the outer region. He did not know what kind of obstructions he would meet once he headed deeper. The poison fog is gradually thinning. It seems that we are about to get through this region. Kai Lin looked at their surroundings. It was a little clearer compared to earlier, causing her to make a statement. I, let's speed up. My retreat this time has delayed us. Some of the bigger factions within the Central Plains have probably entered the middle section of the ancient wasteland region. Xiao Yan nodded. His toes pressed on the ground, and his body shot forth like an arrow being released from a bow. A couple of figures followed him with lightning-like speed. Kai Lin's senses were correct. The surrounding poison fog began to gradually thin as their group ventured deeper. In the end, the poison fog completely disappeared. Xiao Yan's group leaped onto a large rock after they charged out of the poison fog. Their eyes swept over the land in front of them, only to see a mountain stream that was thousands of feet wide. The mountain stream was extremely deep, and a poison fog lingered within it, causing one not to see its end. If one lifted one's eyes, one would see an endless mountain range behind this mountain stream. This mountain range was extremely tall, appearing like many huge dragons sleeping. An ancient and boundless aura spread from the mountains, lingering over the land. That place was the true ancient wasteland region. Huh. Xiao Yan gently exhaled as he studied the distant mountain range. His eyes were a little grave. He could vaguely sense many ferocious auras within the endless ancient mountain range. These auras caused even Xiao Yan to feel a danger. The ferocious beasts of this wasteland have survived isolated from the world. They have continued to propagate since ancient times, and their strengths are extremely frightening. Although their intelligence cannot be compared to a magical beast of the same rank due to their violence, their strength is something that even magical beasts cannot compare with. That falling star pavilion's elder, King Cheng, softly sighed beside Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan nodded. He clenched his hand and a bead that contained an emerald color appeared in his palm. It was the Bodhisattva seed that had been precipitated from the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from back then. This ancient wasteland region was extremely vast. It was not easy to find the location of the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Moreover, there was an endless number of ferocious beasts present. With their lineup, they would likely end up with a terrible fate if they were to randomly charge in. Xiao Yan held the Bodhisattva seed in his hand. He shut his eyes and carefully sensed the activity within the Bodhisattva seed. 
This continued for a while before he slowly opened his eyes. His look toward the northwest as he softly said, this place is likely too far from the Bodhisattva ancient tree. I am unable to detect its exact location. However, from the little information that has been transmitted from the Bodhisattva seed, it should be in that direction. Let's go. Xiao Yan returned the Bodhisattva seed. He did not remain any longer as he pressed his toes into the large rock. His body rose like a large bird. After which, he stepped through empty air and swiftly rushed to the other side of the mountain stream. Kai Lin's group followed behind him. This thousand-foot gap might appear vast, but with the speed of Xiao Yan's group, they appeared on the other side in the blink of an eye. However, they had just reached the other side when a couple of beast roars suddenly rang out from the ground, and a couple of black figures carried a dense nauseating stench as they pounced toward Xiao Yan in the air with lightning-like speed. Be careful. This sudden sneak attack caused Kai Lin and the rest to feel slightly startled. They hurriedly issued a warning. Bang bang. Xiao Yan's footsteps paused. There was no change in his expression. He waved his sleeve and a frightening wind swept apart, crashing into the black shadows. A couple of completely black red-eyed leopard-shaped ferocious beasts fell from the sky amidst a whining sound it seems like there are many ferocious beasts in this region. We cannot fly over. Otherwise, we will attract the attention of some who have entered, and also those troublesome fierce beasts. Kai Lin slightly frowned and remarked. Aye. Xiao Yan nodded. The ferocious beasts in this place might not be very strong, but once they ventured in further, the beasts inside would become more difficult to deal with. Hence, he did not object and immediately landed on the ground. Swoosh. Some rushing sounds of wind were transmitted from behind after Xiao Yan's group landed. A couple of figures quickly arrived. They remained in the air and cautiously looked at Xiao Yan's group. Xiao Yan's eyes also glanced at the few figures. These people had all reached the Du Zun class. However, the thing that surprised Xiao Yan was that these people were able to pass through the poison fog. Let's go. Xiao Yan did not place much focus on these people, nor did he intend to chat or travel with them. The aim of everyone in this place was the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Even if they were to cooperate, they would not be able to truly form an alliance. A group that constantly second-guessed each other was not something that Xiao Yan required. He waved his hand and his toes pressed on the ground as his body gently drifted into the distance. Kai Lin and the others swiftly followed. The few figures who had just arrived frowned when they saw Xiao Yan's group take off. However, they did not do anything. They could sense that Xiao Yan's group was stronger than them, and Xiao Yan's actions clearly indicated that he did not wish to get involved with them. Since this was the case, they could only change direction and continue their journey. Howl. The long violent beast roar, which came from within the ancient region, continuously echoed across the sky. Bang. A ferocious dew key pillar suddenly shot out of the forest. After which, it ruthlessly collided with the body of a large ferocious beast. The potent poison in the pillar immediately eliminated the life force within the ferocious beast's body. Before the beast could emit a roar from its throat, its enormous body collapsed and shook the mountains. A couple of figures slowly walked out of the forest when this huge ferocious beast fell. They were Xiao Yan's group, who had entered the ancient wasteland region. Fortunately, these ferocious beasts' ability to resist poison isn't at a level that cannot be dealt with. The little fairy doctor looked at the completely blackened body of the ferocious beast as she softly spoke. Let's rest for a while and wait for Elder King Cheng to return from scouting. Xiao Yan looked into the distance. Even though they had chosen to avoid ferocious beasts during their journey, they weren't able to completely avoid such battles. The allure of the Bodhisattva ancient tree is too great. Even those ancient clans will not easily give it up, much less those other large factions. However, we have not come across those groups from the large factions. The little fairy doctor sat on the rock by the side as she said, based on their strength and speed, it is likely that their current progress has been much faster than ours. Xiao Yan slightly nodded, but he was not in a hurry. If it was so easy to obtain a treasure like the Bodhisattva ancient tree, it would really humiliate its name. Even though there were many factions involved in the search, it was not possible to approach the Bodhisattva ancient tree within such a short period of time. Swoosh. The rushing sound of wind was suddenly transmitted from in front of Xiao Yan, while he was musing in his heart. An elderly figure swiftly appeared in front of Xiao Yan's group. This figure was Elder King Cheng, who had went out to scout earlier. Elder King Cheng, how is it? Xiao Yan lifted his head and asked when he saw Elder King Cheng return. There is nothing overly dangerous in front of us, but I met a group. 
I quietly observe them. It seems that they are from the Profound Sky sect. Elder King Cheng replied. A group from the Profound Sky sect? Xiao Yan knit his brows upon hearing this name. It was unexpected that the first faction he came across after entering the ancient region was the Profound Sky sect, which he had developed ill feelings for. He had a major disagreement with them. A conflict would likely break out if he met them. I heard them talking while I was quietly observing them. Oh. Xiao Yan lifted his brow. His eyes landed on Elder King Cheng. There seems to be a group from another faction in front of them. They are planning to secretly finish off this group. Elder King Cheng laughed. There is no need to get involved. Let them bite each other. We will head our own way. Xiao Yan shook his head. These people really couldn't remain peaceful. They were still thinking of how to harm others at such a time, but he had just gotten up when he suddenly asked, which faction is the group in front from? They seem to be from the flower sect. Elder King Cheng thought for a moment and replied. Flower sect? Xiao Yan's body suddenly stilled when he was getting up. His eyes gradually became gloomy. Since the flower sect was here, he wondered if Yun Yun was among them. If she was present, it would be impossible for him to stand aside and do nothing. These damn things. Junior Pavilion Chief, what do you plan to do? Elder King Cheng hesitated for a moment before asking when he saw Xiao Yan's face suddenly become gloomy. Attack, destroy the Profound Sky Sect. Xiao Yan slowly stood up. His feigned voice contained ice-cold murderous intent. He had not settled the score from the last time he was ambushed. Having met them this time around, he couldn't let them go no matter what. End of chapter. Chapter 1407. Encountering Yun Yun again. With lightning-like speed, a couple of figures rushed through the air above a mountain range permeated with an ancient aura. There was also a trace of misery vaguely present. Teacher, those fellows have definitely locked onto us. A pretty figure gently pressed against a tree branch. The figure rushed out as her pretty eyes glanced behind her. A worried expression filled those eyes. She turned her head and revealed a familiar pretty face. She was surprisingly Nalan Yanran. It was likely that no one else other than Yun Yun would be addressed as teacher by Nalan Yanran. If one were to turn one's head to the side, there was a woman in a white dress beside Nalan Yanran. The woman's dress flapped with the wind as she flew. She emitted a noble appearance that was difficult to describe. Her pristine face caused the mountains to become a lot more beautiful. Who else could this appearance belong to other than Yun Yun, who had become the chief of the flower sect? These bastards from the Profound Sky sect actually launched a sneak attack while we were fighting with a ferocious beast, causing Elder King Hua to die miserably to the ferocious beast. Once we return, we need to gather the full strength of our sect to fight to the death with the Profound Sky sect. A somewhat pale-looking old woman behind Yun Yun furiously cried out. A trace of blood remained on the corner of her mouth. Clearly, she had experienced a big battle. We must not let off these bastards. The other few flower sect's elders furiously cried out when they heard her words. Elders, now is not the time to talk about this. The profound sky sect is jazzing us. It is clear that they intend to force us all to remain here forever. How will we engage in an all-out life and death battle with them if we cannot even escape this calamity? Yun Yun shook her head as she inquired. The current her had gotten used to her status as the chief of the flower sect. Her words contained a certain prestige. Moreover, she had completely refined the Du Qi that Granny Hua had left her with Xiao Yan's help. Her actual strength had reached the eighth star of the Du Zun level. Hence, the elders behind her did not dare refute her words. All they could do was sigh and nod. Yun Yun only turned her head after hearing the flower sect's elders become quiet. However, she knit her eyebrows slightly. The few grand elders of their flower sect were currently in a deep retreat. Hence, only a nine-star Du Zun elder was present in their group, but this elder had died from the combined attack of the Profound Sky Sect and the Ferocious Beast. Their party strength had declined, leading them to be chased by the Profound Sky Sect, to the point of being in such a miserable state. Teacher, there are two nine-star Du Zun on the Profound Sky Sect's side. Moreover, they will likely catch up soon, given their speed. Nalan Yanran looked at Yun Yun and whispered. Yun Yun inclined her head a little. Her hand patted Nalan Yanran's shoulder and said, when the time comes, teacher will fight and allow you to escape. Don't bother about anything else. The most important thing is to escape alive. What about teacher? Nalan Yanran involuntarily cried out upon hearing Yun Yun's orders. Being the sect chief of the flower sect, I will ultimately fight. Yun Yun shook her head slightly. Her expression changed abruptly, and her body suddenly paused. 
At the same time, she grabbed Nalan Yanran beside her and abruptly pulled her back. Bang! A sharp wind suddenly rushed from in front of her the moment Yun Yun pulled back. The sharp wind turned the huge tree, which the two of them had been standing on earlier, into dust. Tisk tisk, sec chief Yun Yun, all of you will not be able to escape. Why do you still stubbornly resist? Moreover, it is your blessing to have our deputy sec chief covet you. At that time, you, teacher and disciple, can share a husband and become a great story. A deafening strange laugh soon followed after the wind rushed over this caused Yun Yun and Nalan Yanran's expressions to turn a little ugly. Shameless scumbag. Nalan Yanran grit her teeth and furiously cried out. This elderly self likes this form of address. A black figure appeared in a flash on the tree branch in front of them. The figure was extremely tall but skinny. He appeared like a bamboo black clothed old man. He lifted his head and strangely laughed at Nalan Yanran. Swoosh swoosh. The hurried sound of rushing wind also resounded behind Yun Yun's group the moment this old man appeared to block them. Immediately, ten plus figures quickly stepped through the air and hurried over. Finally, they appeared on an empty plot of land behind Yun Yun's group. Ha ha, sec chief Yun Yun. This chief has said that all of you will not be able to escape. Over ten figures slowly stepped forward. The middle-aged man leading them had pale skin. He was wearing a grand purple robe, while his eyes were looking at Yun Yun and Nalan Yanran a short distance away. His tongue involuntarily licked his lips. Such an exquisite teacher and disciple pair was really rare. If he were able to take them as his exclusive domain, he would likely be the envy of an unimaginable number of people, especially when the teacher was also the sect chief of the flower sect. Liu Kang, are you planning to start a big war between the flower sect and the profound sky sect? Yun Yun's face was dark as she coldly cried out. I don't really want to do that. Some old fellows who would not die that are in a retreat within the flower sect are indeed quite troublesome to deal with. Ha ha, but it doesn't matter. I will kill the rest and imprison the both of you in my profound sky sect. They will not know anything. That middle-aged man, who was called Liu Kang, replied with a smile. He he, deputy chief, please hurry up and attack. Otherwise the situation might change if we delay. There are many ferocious beasts in this ancient wasteland region. Suffering a loss will be inevitable if we are discovered. A man carrying a purple fan behind Liu Kang smiled as he spoke. From his appearance, he was Yao Waliangjin, who had attempted to kill Xiao Yan back then. It was unexpected that this fellow was so lucky. He had been able to survive despite being struck by Hei King's punch. Ah, Yao Wa is right. If Deputy Chief intends to strike, it is best not to tarry for too long. A shady-looking old man beside Yao Waliangjin sinisterly laughed. Liu Kang faintly smiled and nodded when he heard these words. After which, he waved his hand and indifferently commanded, in that case, let's strike. Kill everyone other than Yun Yun and her disciple. Understood. All the experts from the Profound Sky sect replied upon hearing Liu Kang's orders. Their bodies immediately moved together and surrounded everyone from the Flower sect. Wave after wave of majestic Du Qi slowly erupted from their bodies. Yanran. I will break open a path. You should quickly leave. Yun Yun softly exhaled and spoke after seeing them be surrounded. Teacher. Nalan Yanran tightly bit her lower red lip. Her hand tightly held a longsword. She inhaled a deep breath and said, if teacher lands in their hands, there is no point in living. I would rather just die. Ugh, you child. Yun Yun was helpless when she heard Nalan Yanran be stubborn. She was aware that Nalan Yanran was prepared to die. If things turned out badly, it was likely that this teacher and disciple pair would end up remaining in this place forever. Attack. A cold cry suddenly sounded while Yun Yun was quietly sighing in her heart. Those experts from the profound sky sect around them, who were eagerly waiting, let out strange laughs. They charged toward the flower sect's group with lightning-like speed, as powerful Duki erupted. Bang bang. Those flower sect's elders revealed some furiously green expressions when they were surrounded and attacked by the experts from the Profound Sky sect. They unleashed their Du Qi and charged forward without giving in, but their bodies were covered in injuries. Additionally, they had been fleeing during these few days. Their conditions were naturally inferior to those from the Profound Sky sect. Hence, they fell into a disadvantage after the first exchange. Boom. Yun Yun waved her hand. A vast and might Duki erupted and struck an expert from the Profound Sky sect until he spat out blood and withdrew. Soon after another two experts attacked, causing her to have no choice but to meet them in battle. Hee hee, sect chief Yun Yun, 
it looks like you will still end up in our hands this time around. You can rest assured that I will definitely take good care of you when the time comes. Yao Waliangjin hurriedly dodged Yun Yun's attack while he coldly laughed. Yun Yun's face was ice cold. The Du Qi within her body was stimulated to its limit. A palm wind whistled and covered her surroundings. In an instant, even the combined strength of the profound sky sect's four Du Zuns were unable to break her defenses. Bang. While Yun Yun was doing her best to fight, a muffled sound was suddenly emitted from beside her. A lovely figure flew backwards as a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. Yanren. Yun Yun's expression drastically changed when she saw this figure. She curled her hand and a wind surged. It wrapped around Nalan Yanren's flying body. He he, one must not be distracted while fighting others. Two mysterious figures suddenly flashed and appeared behind Yun Yun while she was rescuing Nalan Yanren. Powerful palm winds slammed mercilessly into Yun Yun's shoulders. Grug. The sudden attack caused Yun Yun to spit out a mouthful of fresh blood. Her body shot back and heavily collided with a large rock. Another muffled moan was emitted from her throat. Sec Chief Yun Yun, once you have been properly taught by the deputy chief, I will bring that little lover of yours to see you. Yao Waliangjin revealed a lewd smile on his face. He slowly walked toward Yun Yun. His metal fans struck Yun Yun's lower abdomen in an extremely ruthless manner. Yun Yun clenched her teeth when she saw Yao Waliangjin attacked. She unleashed the Du Qi from her body in order to meet him in a fight, but she was just about to act when a thunder-like wind-splitting sound was suddenly emitted from the sky and a dazzling golden light erupted. An enormous golden figure suddenly landed in front of her. Its huge fist was abruptly swung and smashed into Yao Waliangjin's body with lightning-like speed. Its frightening strength turned the shocked-faced Yao Waliangjin into mincemeat with just a punch. Shock surged onto the faces of the experts from the profound sky sect by the side when they suddenly saw Yao Waliangjin turn into mincemeat. Their eyes were horrified as they stared at the enormous golden figure. Their bodies quickly pulled back. The dogs from the profound sky sect are still as unlikable as ever. The rumbling low voice from the golden human figure, which was dozens of feet tall, slowly sounded after bursting Yao Waliangjin apart with a punch. Liu Kang's expression gradually turned gloomy after hearing the low and deep voice of that golden human figure. End of chapter. Chapter 1408. Killing the Profound Sky Sect. Expert, may I know who you are? This is a matter between my Profound Sky Sect and the Flower Sect. Are you really intending on intervening? Liu Kang's eyes were dark and dense as he glared at the golden giant standing in front of Yun Yun. He inquired in a deep voice. The Du Qi within Liu Kang's body was quietly circulated while he spoke. With one glance, it was obvious that this person had come with ill intent. He needed to be careful. That 70-foot-tall golden human figure merely laughed at Liu Kang. The figure did not even give Liu Kang a reply. The giant's feet ruthlessly kicked Yao Waliangjin's corpse in front of him. That terrifying strength caused the body of Yao Waliangjin to ruthlessly shoot toward Liu Kang like a cannonball. You are seeking death. Liu Kang's expression became gloomy when he saw the golden figure attack. His hand grabbed at the space in front of him. Yao Waliangjin's corpse emitted a bang and exploded into clusters of bloody fogs. Today, this chief shall see just where you come from, since you dare to intervene in the matters of my profound sky sect. Liu Kang's foot stomped on the ground. His ghost-like body flashed, and he appeared above the golden giant's head. He clenched his fist and cried out in a savage voice, Great Hell Dragon Fist. Roar. Du Qi immediately surged out of his body in all directions, the moment Liu Qing's cry sounded. It swiftly gathered and formed a large black dragon. The dragon seemed real. It was accompanied by a shocking momentum as it let out a roar and tore through the air, creating a frightening wind as it ruthlessly swam toward the golden giant. That golden giant slowly raised his head when faced with Liu Kang's fierce attack. He revealed a pair of cold and indifferent golden eyes. His fist, which appeared to be made of gold, tightened after which, a punch was thrown without any fancy actions. A punch was thrown forward, and the space in front suddenly collapsed, revealing many black cracks in space itself. Bang! The golden fist flashed over and collided with the black huge dragon. A terrifying force poured out like floodwater upon contact. A miserable cry sounded as that large black dragon was forcefully scattered. That remnant wind penetrated space and heavily struck Liu Kang, whose expression had altered. Bam bam! Liu Kang's body hurriedly withdrew upon sensing the frightening strength heading his way, but that strength was too terrifying. 
a low and deep air blast exploded against Liu Kang's body before the force struck. Boom boom. This sudden explosive air blasted Liu Kang until he flew backwards. He landed in a hundred foot large stone. A frightening remnant force instantly caused that huge rock to emit a crack sound, covering it with densely packed cracks. Finally, it turned into stone dust emit a deep sound. Hiss. Shock was immediately revealed in the eyes of the surrounding experts from the profound sky sect when they saw that Liu Kang was unable to even receive one punch from the mysterious golden giant. They were clearly aware of Liu Kang's strength. Although the reason that Liu Kang could reach his current position as the deputy chief of the profound sky sect was not completely based on merit, he did possess a strength that was at the peak of the Duzun class. He was the strongest in their present group. None of them would have imagined that this person with the strength of a peak Duzun was unable to last even one exchange in the hands of the golden giant. Just who is this person? Is he actually this frightening? A flicker rapidly flashed through the eyes of the experts from the Profound Sky sect. By being able to send Liu Kang, whose strength was at the peak of the Duzun class, flying with a punch, it meant that this person's strength had, at the very least, reached a two-change or a three-change peak Duzun. Bastard. Elder Q and everyone else attacked together with this chief. Liu Kang miserably struggled to climb up from the rock dust at this moment. He rubbed off the trace of blood on the corner of his mouth and furiously roared. That skinny bamboo-like black-robed elder, who was the first to attack, looked different when he heard the roar. He could only clench his teeth and nod with a dark expression on his face. There were so many people on their side. If they were to attack together, this person would not be able to gain much of an upper hand, even though he possessed a three-change peak Duzun strength. Roar. The remaining experts from the Profound Sky sect could only suppress the fear within their hearts in the face of Liu Kang's roar. Du Qi surged from their bodies at the same time. After which, many incredibly powerful Du Qi attacks tore through space and explosively shot over. Over ten elite Duzuns attacked together. Their might was relatively frightening, and space seemed to tremble as a result. Be careful. Yun Yun's expression changed when she saw Liu Kang's group attacking at the same time. She hurriedly cried out. Humph. The golden giant let out a cold snort when faced with Liu Kang's group's joint attack. He advanced instead of pulling back, taking a couple of steps that caused the land to tremble. A bright golden light erupted from his body. Looking from a distance, he appeared like a furious metal statue. Break. Without using any do skills, every part of the golden giant contained an indestructible frightening strength. A punch was thrown and space crumpled. Many black lines continued to spread apart. Bang. The giant golden fist was thrown over, and all do skills basically burst apart at this instant. A frightening storm penetrated space. Finally, it poured into the bodies of the profound sky sex experts. Grug. Grug. With such a frightening strength, everyone other than Liu Kang and the bamboo-thin black-robed elder spat out a mouthful of fresh blood in an instant. Their bodies were like flying cannonballs that rubbed over the ground and violently flew a thousand feet away. Liu Kang's face finally revealed a frightened expression when he saw the experts from the Profound Sky sect were knocked unconscious. No one knew if they were alive or dead. Despite so many people joining hands, they were unable to cause the golden demon any harm. Who exactly are you? We can talk things over nicely. Liu Kang saw the cold and indifferent golden eyes that had suddenly turned toward him. A chill was immediately felt in his heart as he hurriedly spoke. Bang. The golden giant ignored Liu Kang's words and took a big step forward. He advanced one step after another, and an enormous shadow covered the land, looking like a descending death god. Flee. Liu Kang understood that it was impossible for the golden giant to let him off. He sensed a murderous desire that the golden giant had thrown at him. He was decisive as his foot violently stomped on the ground. His figure rushed back with lightning-like speed. Bastard. Once this chief ascertains your identity, I will definitely get you to suffer a fate worse than death. A ferocity flickered within Liu Kang's eyes as he wildly fled. He had enjoyed many respectful eyes wherever he went since becoming the deputy sect chief of the Profound Sky sect. When had he ever ended up in such a miserable state? While Liu Kang continued to think vicious thoughts in his heart, a light suddenly flickered in the sky. A glaring golden light flashed in the corner of his eye, causing the skin on his head to suddenly burst apart. He abruptly raised his head as the golden giant unknowingly appeared. Why is he so fast? Disbelief flashed across Liu Kang's heart when he saw the golden giant appear behind him. 
This feeling had just risen when the metal fist of the golden giant ruthlessly smashed into his back with a terrifying strength. Grug. The Du Qi defenses on Liu Kang's body were completely useless at this moment. A frightening strength poured into his body like floodwater. In an instant, the strength shattered his internal organs and even his bones into dust. Grug. A mouthful of fresh blood that contained some shattered internal organs was spat out of Liu Kang's mouth. The ferocious and vicious expression from earlier still remained on his face, but life was quickly fading from his eyes. Even after he died, he could not understand why this mysterious golden giant would kill them in such a crazy fashion the moment it appeared. He had merely been chasing Yun Yun's group. That golden giant suddenly landed in front of Yun Yun, and the flower sect elders shocked gazes after Liu Kang was killed with just a punch. After which, those cold and indifferent golden eyes looked to the northern sky. That bamboo-like black-robed person had fled in that direction. Swish. The sound of rushing wind suddenly appeared when the golden giant was looking at that patch of sky. A black figure soon shot over and smashed into the ground. It was that profound sky sect's elder who had fled earlier. Another few black figures rushed over in a flash behind this figure. They appeared on the empty ground. You. You are Queen Medusa? Yun Yun looked at the group of people who had appeared. Her eyes suddenly focused on an extremely cool and beautiful woman. A shock immediately surfaced on her face as she cried out in disbelief. Sect Chief of the Misty Cloud Sect, Yun Yun? Kai Lin's brows were slightly knit when she saw Yun Yun. Her pretty eyes shifted to that golden giant, and a soft snort was emitted from her nostrils. No wonder this fellow had hurried over in such an anxious and furious manner the moment he had heard that the flower sect was in trouble. It was because Yun Yun was present. Yun Yun was slightly startled when she saw Kai Lin look over. She seemed to have suddenly recalled something. Her startled eyes landed on the golden giant as she muttered, Xiao Yan? Nailin Yanren's lovely figure by the side slightly froze when she heard Yun Yun's voice. She lifted her head in a greatly stunned manner. She did not believe that this person, who had relied on his own strength to eliminate the group from the Profound Sky sect, would be Xiao Yan. A golden light burst out from that golden giant in front of the many pairs of eyes its body quickly shrank. Within a short moment, it had turned into a skinny figure. Ha ha, are you all right? The skinny figure turned around, and a familiar face appeared in front of Yun Yun's and Nailin Yanren's astounded eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 1409? Ancient Heaven Demon Python. Yun Yun was stunned as she stared at that familiar face. A long while later, she finally recovered and bitterly laughed, it is really you. Xiao Yan grinned. He took out a jade bottle from his storage ring and handed it to Yun Yun. Yun Yun understood his intention and took a pill from within it to consume. After which, she handed the jade bottle to Nailin Yanren and got her to distribute the medicinal pills inside to the other elders. Why are all of you here? Yun Yun's expression was a little better after consuming the medicinal pill. Her pretty eyes swept over Kai Lin and Xiao Yan. She shifted her eyes away while asking in a seemingly random manner. We are coincidentally entering the ancient wasteland region when we met the members of the Profound Sky Sect. After that, we sensed your group. Xiao Yan smiled and replied. Oh. Yun Yun slightly nodded. Her pretty eyes roamed for a while before they finally paused on Kai Lin. She said, it is unexpected that I am able to meet you here. When Yun Yun was still in the Jiyama Empire back then, she had received Gu He's invitation to head to the vast Tajir Desert to snatch the green lotus core flame from Medusa. Subsequently, Kai Lin had appeared at the Misty Cloud sect because of Xiao Yan. On the whole, their meetings were not pleasant ones. These two women had formed a grudge. Nevertheless, it was clear that neither of them had expected their next meeting to be in such a place. I. Kai Lin faintly nodded. Being cold and indifferent, she did not add anything, nor did she intend on talking with Yun Yun. When Kai Lin didn't say anything more, Yun Yun, who was somewhat proud in her bones, naturally did not offer any warm feelings because of Kai Lin's coldness. Hence, she also became quiet. Xiao Yan was a little embarrassed when he saw this atmosphere form between the two women. He threw a glance at the little fairy doctor in order to seek her help, but she only glanced at him before turning her head away. This caused him to feel a little depressed. It was unexpected that the gentle and obedient little fairy doctor would abandon him at such a moment. Junior Pavilion Chief, thank you for your help this time around. At this moment, an elder from the flower sect, who had consumed the medicinal pill given by Nailin Yanren, walked forward and thanked Xiao Yan. Ha ha, elder is too polite. The falling star pavilion has a good relationship with the flower sect in the first place. 
Moreover, Yun Yun and I are old acquaintances. It is only right for me to intervene and help. Xiao Yan laughed. He mused for a moment and said, Elder, may I know how long it has been since you entered this ancient region? It has been nearly five days, but we have not followed an exact route. Hence, our speed is quite slow. Along the way, we even attracted a group of extremely ferocious beasts. Then, the Profound Sky Sect launched a sneak attack. Their attack resulted in Elder King Hua's death. Ugh. That elder spoke in a somewhat grieved manner. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled and shook his head. He asked, in that case, does Elder know about the situation regarding the other factions? They should be fast approaching the ancient region stage of the ancient wasteland region. That is a place that has been left behind since the ancient times. A normal ferocious beast would not approach that place. Hence, it could be considered a safe region in the ancient wasteland region. Yun Yun by the side suddenly replied. However, there is still a two days journey from our location to that place. Ancient region stage, huh? Xiao Yan's eyes revealed an expression of contemplation. He wished to successfully obtain the Bodhisattva heart, but it was clearly impossible for them to reach that place with just their strengths. Any mysterious treasures would be protected by a unique beast. Even less needed to be said about this extremely rare and unique treasure known as the Bodhisattva ancient tree. The unique beast guarding it would naturally be extremely frightening. Hence, he needed to borrow the strength of the other factions in order to benefit from the chaos. Otherwise, he would not have the slightest chance. However, the factions able to resolve these many obstructions and eventually reach the ancient region stage were definitely extremely strong. Moreover, there might be some of Xiao Yan's enemies there. An example was the Hall of Souls. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes slightly and softly said, why don't we travel together during the subsequent journey? Our strength will ultimately be a little stronger if our parties unite. We will be able to help each other if we meet any trouble. Regardless of how strong some of the factions in the ancient region stage were, Xiao Yan needed to reach that place first. Otherwise, it would be useless to simply rely on their strength. I. Yun Yun hesitated for a moment after hearing Xiao Yan's suggestion. The atmosphere of Xiao Yan's group caused her find it difficult to get used to. However, she could only nod her head after seeing her group of injured members. They had already met a great deal of danger in this ancient wasteland region over these few days. Just their strength alone would likely find it difficult to reach the ancient region stage. We will take the path to the east first. Although the route towards the west is a little closer, the main road at that place is occupied by an ancient heaven demon python which strength is comparable to a five-change peak du Zun expert. We will definitely disturb it if we wish to pass. Yun Yun said. Ancient Heaven Demon Python? Xiao Yan was startled upon hearing this. This was an extremely rare mutated snake beast. It only surpassed the nine serene deep ground python in terms of ferocity, but this creature was too rare. It was almost extinct in the outside world, yet it still existed in this wasteland. However, the rarity of this ancient heaven demon python was not the reason that caused Xiao Yan to be startled. Instead, it was because he recalled that the blood of an ancient heaven demon python had the effect of refining and strengthening one's physical body. The current him needed to raise his physical strength. Only by doing this would he be able to practice the King Kong glass body until the 99-foot peak. He was in the ancient wasteland region, and he would still have to interact with those powerful factions soon. It would not be easy to do anything if he did not possess sufficient strength as a trump card. Moreover, Xiao Yan had remembered that he had once read from an ancient book that the ancient heaven demon python liked to build a blood pool because the blood pool would be the location where its offspring would be born. In order to enable its offspring to absorb enough energy, it would spend hundreds of years gathering natural treasures with rich energy to throw them into the blood pool. Finally, this energy is absorbed by the blood and merges with the bodies of the offspring being born. Did you see the ancient heaven demon python with your own eyes? A flash appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes as he asked. Yes. We even exchanged blows and were nearly unable to escape. Yun Yun solemnly replied. So it's like this. Xiao Yan muttered to himself. He immediately lifted his head, looked at Yun Yun, and said, I plan to make a trip over. The ancient heaven demon python is very useful to me. What? Yun Yun's group was immediately startled when they heard that Xiao Yan was planning to head over to search for that incomparable fierce and brutal ancient heaven demon python. I have my own plans and will not do things without care for their consequences. Xiao Yan smiled and replied. Relax, although the ancient heaven demon python is powerful, it might not be able to defeat all of us. 
Yun Yun could only helplessly shake her head when she heard Xiao Yan's insistence. She mused for a moment before sighing, since you insist on it, let's travel together. My group has so many injured members. We will be in greater danger if we separate. Coincidentally, we also know the route to take to help you quickly find the ancient heaven demon python. Ha ha, in that case, I will be troubling you. Relax, I will not allow any accidents to befall your group. Xiao Yan sighed in relief and laughed upon hearing her words. I really regret telling you about this. Yun Yun bitterly smiled and shook her head. She had originally wanted to use the incident to warn Xiao Yan. Unexpectedly, it had ended up attracting him over. Everyone should rest first. We will head out in half an hour. Xiao Yan smiled. He waved his hand and informed everyone. Everyone nodded when they heard his words. After which they sat down. Xiao Yan also sat cross-legged on a large rock. He shut his eyes and entered a resting state. Half an hour of rest quickly passed. Xiao Yan opened his eyes and saw the faces of members of the flower sect were much better. Only then did he nod his head and stand up. He was just about to speak when he abruptly sensed something. His eyes looked to the sky behind him. A moment later, he waved his hand and quickly said, everyone, hide your auras. Someone is coming. The entire group was startled upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. They hurriedly withdrew into the forest, suppressing their auras and breaths to their the weakest levels in the process. Swoosh swoosh. Soon after Xiao Yan's group withdrew into the forest, wave after wave of rushing wind suddenly resounded in the sky. Many figures flew through the sky with extremely fast speed. These people are really bold. Aren't they afraid of attracting the attacks from those ferocious beasts? The little fairy doctor slightly frowned and softly commented when she saw these people dared to recklessly fly. Xiao Yan knit his brow. His eyes stared at the light figures in the sky. With his outstanding eyesight, he clearly made out a lady in colorful clothes, leading section of this large group. This lady gave Xiao Yan a familiar feeling. It is Feng King Er from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. The moment this thought appeared in his heart, Xiao Yan suddenly recalled something as some shock appeared in his eyes. He recalled that when he saw Feng King Er at the Du Sheng remains back then, she merely had the strength of a Du Zong. However, the feeling that she gave him now definitely surpassed that of an ordinary peak Du Zun expert. Moreover, he vaguely sensed that the current Feng Kinger gave him a somewhat different feeling than before. This difference did not originate from her outer appearance. Instead, it came from her soul. The Feng Kinger of the past was unable to make Xiao Yan feel any pressure by relying on the bloodline of the Demon Phoenix tribe. However, he was able to sense a faint pressure emanating from Feng Kinger. He had once sensed this kind of pressure from Zi Yan. It is the pressure from an ancient heaven phoenix. Xiao Yan's eyes flickered. A moment later, he finally recovered as he gently inhaled a breath of cool air. The ancient heaven phoenix had disappeared from this world. Why did this kind of pressure appear on Feng King Er? This woman has definitely met some great opportunity that has allowed her strength to soar. Looks like I cannot delay any longer. This time around, I must head to where the ancient heaven demon python is and rely on its blood pool to train the King Kong glass body to its peak. Moreover, I must break through to the ninth star of a Du Zun. Xiao Yan clenched his fist. These enemies, whose strength had soared, caused him to be filled with a kind of pressure. End of chapter. Chapter 1410. Sieging the Heaven Demon Python. An extremely steep and dangerous mountain stood on one side of the main road, like a giant python. Clusters of black vapors continued to rise and covered the sky within a hundred meter radius. No ferocious beast dared to step within this territory because this place was the territory of the ancient Heaven Demon Python. The ancient heaven demon python was an extremely rare mutated beast. If one were to look in terms of seniority, its bloodline was considered to be relatively close to that of some ancient ancestors within the snake clan, but its murderous desire was too strong, causing its intelligence to be far inferior to the nine serene deep ground python tribe. Hence, the nine serene deep ground python looked down on the ancient heaven demon python. After all, it was merely a killing machine that possessed great strength and did not possess any intelligence. The blood of the ancient heaven demon python was good at tempering and refining one's physical body. Of course, Xiao Yan's current body was relatively strong after having been refined by various natural treasures. An ordinary treasure could no longer strengthen Xiao Yan's body anymore, and even the heaven demon python's blood wouldn't be able to do much. Therefore, the thing that he was targeting was not the ancient heaven demon python's blood. Instead, it was the heaven demon blood pool that it had spent hundreds of years accumulating. 
This heaven demon blood pool was filled with natural treasures and a pure energy that the ancient heaven demon python had spent great effort to find over hundreds of years or longer. As time progressed, the energy gathered within it reaches an extremely terrifying level. If an ordinary person were to step into it, that person's body would burst apart because of the frightening energy. Only the descendants of the ancient heaven demon python could endure it. Of course, nothing was absolute. Something that others could not endure did not mean that Xiao Yan could not endure it. His body's strength was no longer weaker than some magical beasts after undergoing various refinements and strengthenings. Hence, the heaven demon blood pool was the perfect nourishment for him. This time around, he might not only be able to train the King Kong glass body until the peak, he also might use the opportunity to break through to the ninth star of the Duzun class. At that moment, his strength would significantly soar. He would benefit if his strength increased while roaming this ancient wasteland region that was filled with danger. The ancient heaven demon python is here. Yun Yun softly informed them when she arrived a short distance from the large mountain where black fog lingered. Xiao Yan nodded with excited eyes. He did not speak much as he said in a deep voice, let's go. Prepare to attack. Xiao Yan's figure turned into a black shadow after his words sounded, and he swiftly rushed toward that enormous black mountain. Kai Lin, King Lin, the little fairy doctor and the rest quickly followed behind him. The group from the flower sect hesitated for a moment before they followed Yun Yun and gave chase. Xiao Yan's group suppressed their auras until they were very weak. They quickly charged into the thick black fog that lingered around the mountain. An extremely deafening snake hiss was suddenly emitted. Soon after, the entire mountain trembled, and one could hear many sounds of whistling wind appear. A thousand-foot-long black snake tail shot out from the mountain with lightning-like speed. It ruthlessly slammed toward Xiao Yan's group. Humph! Seeing that the senses of this ancient heaven demon serpent were so sharp, Xiao Yan let out a cold snort and quickly took two steps forward. A bright golden light suddenly erupted from his body, and in the blink of an eye, his skinny figure suddenly swelled until he was seventy feet tall. He appeared like a shiny golden giant. After using the King Kong glass body, Xiao Yan's large hands, which appeared to be made of gold, were suddenly thrown forward. Both of his fists ruthlessly collided with that enormous black serpent tail. Bang! A frightening wind raged when the two clashed before exploding. Fortunately, the people present were not mediocre individuals, so they did not suffer much damage. A storm surged, and the golden giant that Xiao Yan had transformed into was forced to take two steps back. However, that enormous black snake tail was also forced back. Its scales had been significantly damaged. After activating the King Kong glass body, Xiao Yan's physical body had been strengthened to a frightening level. Roar. Having suffered a slight loss, a furious earth-shaking roar quickly resonated across the sky. The roar was filled with violence. Soon after, the entire mountain began to quiver. Finally, one could hear a loud bang as a thousand-foot-long black python shot out of the towering mountain. This black giant python was huge. Its entire body was covered with scales, and a dense layer of black fog lingered over these scales. The head of the giant python was relatively terrifying because it was not an ordinary snake face. At a glance, it appeared more like a ferocious giant human's face. It gave one the chills when one looked at it. No wonder this monster was called the Heaven Demon Python. Dark clouds began to gather in the sky the moment this ancient Heaven Demon Python appeared, and a terrifying black energy agglomerated within the clouds with lightning-like speed. It was relatively powerful. Its large red eyes, which were at least 10 feet in size, appeared like two enormous red lamps hanging in the sky. They were filled with violence and murderous intent as they stared at Xiao Yan's group. Everyone's expression involuntarily changed as they looked at the enormous being lingering in the sky. This ancient heaven demon python was indeed not an ordinary creature. Attack. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at the heaven demon python as he cried out in a deep voice. This big fellow had reached the strength of a five-change peak Du Zun. He could only rely on everyone attacking together if he did not use the angry Buddha lotus flame. Understood. Kai Lin nodded when she heard Xiao Yan's cry. Her delicate figure leaped forward as she turned into a seven-colored heaven-swallowing python that was not any smaller than the ancient heaven demon python within the churning clouds. An invisible pressure spread, causing the ferocity of the heaven demon python to diminish. In terms of bloodline purity, a heaven demon python could not compare to this heaven-swallowing python, which was able to challenge the ancient heaven serpent during the ancient times. 
However, this heaven demon python was still an unusually violent and ferocious creature. Hence, the little pressure that it sensed was unable to hinder its killing intent. Forget about the heaven-swallowing python even if a genuine ancient heaven serpent were to arrive, this red-eyed fellow would still dare to bite it. Bang. Clouds churned in the sky. Kylin, who had turned into the heaven-swallowing python, summoned numerous enormous colorful thunderbolts. After which, they continuously struck the heaven demon python. Puff. That heaven demon python opened its large ferocious mouth as Kylin attacked. Many black lights that were filled with a stench were spat out and received all those colorful thunderbolts. Although it was a little inferior to the heaven-swallowing python in terms of its bloodline, its strength far surpassed Kylin. Hence, it held the upper hand in this fight. Bang. The golden giant that Xiao Yan had transformed into turned into a golden light that arrived in front of the heaven demon python in a flash while it was busy unleashing its attack. A frightening storm immediately formed under his fist as it ruthlessly smashed against the heaven demon python's body. Ow! This merciless punch from Xiao Yan scattered the black fog around the heaven demon python. Even the black scales on its body were blasted apart. Elder King Chen, Yun Yun, the little fairy doctor, and the rest unleashed their attacks when Xiao Yan struck. Frightening Du Qi whistled across the sky and landed on the body of the heaven demon python from all directions. The air that was blasted apart was something that even the heaven demon python could not endure. Chi. However, this heaven demon python was quite ferocious. Its huge eyes were bloody red as it ignored the many air explosions on its body. It swung its huge tail and ruthlessly struck Xiao Yan, who had caused it the most harm. Clang. The enormous snake tail heavily smashed into Xiao Yan's body, emitting the clear sound of metal colliding. Sparks flew in the process. Humph. Xiao Yan's throat emitted a muffled moan after suffering such a serious blow. He forcefully endured the frightening strength as he reached out with his hands and firmly grabbed the heaven demon python's huge tail. Soon after, a purple-brown flame suddenly gushed out of his body and swiftly traveled down the heaven demon python's body. It quickly incinerated the dense black fog. Hiss hiss. The sudden terrifying temperature caused the heaven demon python to go crazy as its large body continued to wiggle. The surrounding tall mountains would be shattered into rock fragments if they were struck by its tail. It is really difficult to deal with this fellow. Everyone's heart involuntarily felt speechless when they saw the stubbornness of this heaven demon python. If Xiao Yan and Kai Lin were not pressuring it from the sky, it was likely that the remaining people would not be able to endure the force from just a swing of its tail. Xiao Yan held the heaven demon python with all his strength as one of his fists wildly smashed into its tail. A violent force and a hot flame smashed its tail until blood flowed like a river. Although this caused the heaven demon python to feel an immense amount of pain, it had also stirred its ferocious instincts. Its resistance became even more intense. Young Master Xiao Yan, force its eyes to look at me. A voice was suddenly transmitted into Xiao Yan's ears, while he gradually started to feel like he wouldn't be able to hold the struggling heaven demon python. The voice caused him to brace his attention. That voice belonged to King Lin. Roar. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. Du Qi from his body poured into his arms. A frightening strength suddenly surged and forcefully maneuvered the heaven demon python's body, turning it in the process. That heaven demon python became furious as Xiao Yan repeatedly pulled and pushed it. It was planning to go crazy when a five-foot-large jade green demonic eye suddenly appeared in its sight. Three green flowers rapidly rotated within the eye as a numb feeling, originating from deep within the heaven demon python's soul, caused its body to stiffen. It slowly became gentle. The murderous intent and violence within its large blood-red eyes quickly diminished. End of chapter. Chapter 1411 Heaven Demon Blood Pool. The five-foot-large jade green demon eye was imprinted into the huge eyes of the ancient heaven demon python. Wave after wave of a mysterious demonic force was emitted from the three rotating jade green flowers, causing the murderous intent and violence in the heaven demon python's eyes to gradually fade. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he saw the power of the demonic eye. King Lin's triple jade green snake flower pupils possessed an extremely powerful ability to control snake-formed magical beasts. However, he was uncertain whether King Lin's current strength would be able to control this ancient heaven demon python. After all, its strength was equivalent to a five-change peak du zun. Hiss. This thought had just flashed within Xiao Yan's heart when the eyes of the heaven demon python, which had gradually grown dimmer, began to struggle. Its large body suddenly shook at the same time. 
Wave after wave of frightening black fog continued to spread from its body. It seemed to have detected King Lin's intention and was resisting in an uncontrolled fashion. A ferocious beast that could train to such an extent could not be dealt with so easily, regardless of how unintelligent it was. It is indeed not easy to deal with this beast. Shock rose within Xiaoyan's heart upon sensing that this ancient heaven demon python was able to rely on its own strength to resist the triple jade green snake flower pupils. He immediately threw a punch forward. A large cluster of heavenly flames surged out and swiftly lingered around the ancient heaven demon python's body, quickly vaporizing the black fog. Suppress it! Xiaoyan cried out in a deep voice when he attacked. The seven-colored heaven-swallowing python formed by Kai Lin in the sky suddenly curled up upon hearing Xiao Yan's cry. An invisible pressure surged out and poured onto the ancient heaven demon python. A suppression that originated from deep within its soul immediately caused the black fog on its body to retreat. At the same time, the little fairy doctor, Yun Yun, Elder King Cheng, and the others unleashed many large dooki pillars. These were like ropes that restricted the ancient heaven demon python, even though the ancient heaven demon python was powerful, it was unable to struggle for a moment when faced with such a heavy pressure. Its ferocious mouth continued to emit a furious roar that caused the entire mountain to tremble. King Lin, quick! Xiao Yan cried out upon sensing the untamed struggle of the ancient heaven demon python. I. King Lin slightly nodded. She quickly inhaled a deep breath. Both of her hands spread like a blooming lotus as she formed many complicated and mysterious seals. After the formation of these seals, an extremely deep roar was vaguely emitted from her body. The space behind King Lin became distorted when this roar, which contained a pressure from ancient times, appeared. A 10,000-foot-long snake-shaped illusory figure formed. The body of this illusory figure emitted an extremely ancient aura, and it possessed nine snake heads. Surprisingly, it was the nine-headed heaven serpent that Xiao Yan had seen back then. The wildly struggling ancient heaven demon serpent's body shook the moment that nine-headed heaven serpent illusory figure appeared. Both of its eyes finally revealed a dense fear. Faced with two ancient snake bloodline's ancestor pressures, even this extremely violent heaven demon python trembled. Triple jade green snake flower pupils, demon eye open. After summoning the nine-headed heavenly serpent illusory figure to completely suppress the heaven demon python's soul, three jade green flowers suddenly quivered before they slowly bloomed. A jade green bone chilling demonic pupil was present at the intersection of the three flowers. It seemed to have awoken as it slowly opened. The space in front of King Lin cracked the moment this eye was opened. The enormous body of the ancient heaven demon python stilled in an instant. Stand back. Xiao Yan's eyes focused on this demonic eye. His mind immediately became absent as his heart became shocked. He hurriedly released the heaven demon python and quickly pulled back. At the same time he also shouted a warning to everyone. The others understood that King Lin's demon eye did not discriminate between enemies and allies when they saw Xiao Yan retreat. They hurriedly scattered and did not dare stand close to her. King Lin's triple jade green snake flower pupils are really frightening. If I was someone from the snake tribe, I would have ended up like the heaven demon python. Xiao Yan withdrew by a great distance. The current King Lin was able to control a little of the nine-headed heaven serpent's strength. If she completely summoned the nine-headed heaven serpent, she would be even more frightening. After all, the ancient heaven serpent was an existence that could be compared to an ancient void dragon and the ancient heaven phoenix. The demonic and unusual eye slowly rotated as a thumb-sized jade green light ray suddenly erupted from it. This light ray left an imprint on the stiff heaven demon python's head with lightning-like speed. Immediately, a palm-sized green flower surfaced. The remaining violence within the large eyes of the ancient heaven demon python quickly disappeared when this green flower appeared. A gentle emptiness replaced it. Is it successful? A joy flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw the ancient heaven demon serpent pause in the sky. If King Lin was truly able to control this big creature, the strength of their group would undoubtedly soar. The strength of a five-change peak Du Zun was still quite a powerful existence even in this ancient wasteland region. Huh. King Lin slowly shut her eyes when the flower was formed. The enormous nine-headed heaven serpent's illusory figure behind her also slowly disappeared. That ancient pressure that permeated the sky quietly paled. Chi. The enormous seven-colored heaven-swallowing python once again transformed into an enchanting figure that hurried down. She used a surprised gaze that glanced at King Lin. The nine-headed heaven python that King Lin had summoned caused even her to feel afraid. 
This kind of abnormal existence was likely something that only those legendary nine-colored heaven-swallowing python could content with. Have you controlled it? Xiao Yan's body swiftly transformed back to his original form as the golden light surged. He appeared beside King Lin and asked. I. Fortunately, we have exhausted quite a lot of its strength. Additionally, there is elder sister Kai Lin's spiritual pressure. Otherwise, I would not have been able to subdue this fellow. King Lin laughed. That's good. Hurry up. Let's go and find the heaven demon blood pool. Xiao Yan sighed in relief. After which, he turned to the enormous mountain with a black fog permeating over it. His eyes vaguely contained some heat. His body moved, and he rushed toward the mountain. After which, Kai Lin, the little fairy doctor, and the rest quickly followed. This mountain was extremely dangerous and large, but there were no other ferocious beasts living around it. They had all been expelled by this ancient heaven demon python. This had saved Xiao Yan's group some trouble, so they followed the energy ripple that was vaguely emitted from the mountain and quickly found the heaven demon python's cave. The heaven demon python's cave was located in the middle of this mountain. It was a dark, cold, and moist place. White bones were piled high, and some of these bones were that of humans. It was a wonder just which unlucky people had become food for this heaven demon python. The group knit their brows and wandered around these piles of bones before stopping at the end of this cave. The end of the cave was scarlet and rocky. There was a hundred-foot-wide pool in the middle of these messy rocks. The interior of the pool was saturated with a scarlet blood. Occasionally, some bloody bubbles would rise from the blood pool. The bloody bubbles burst and an extremely dense energy spread from them. Some beast bones were still floating in the blood pool. From the looks of it, that violent heaven demon python had even thrown some ferocious beasts inside. Is this the heaven demon blood pool? The little fairy doctor involuntarily asked. Her skin had turned numb upon seeing this scarlet color. Yes, it should be this thing. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He could sense that the interior of this blood pool contained an extremely dense energy. It seemed that this heaven demon python had put in a great amount of effort in order to form this blood pool. Unfortunately, it had ended up benefiting Xiao Yan. I might delay for two to three days in this place. King Lin, you should summon the ancient heaven demon python to continue guarding the mountain during this period of time. Even if there are some experts passing by, they will not offend an existence like it for no reason. Xiao Yan turned to King Lin as he spoke. Understood. King Lin nodded after hearing his orders. Will there be any danger? Kai Lin glanced at the scarlet blood as she frowned and asked. Ha ha, you can rest assured. Although the energy inside is violent, it is not at a level where it cannot be endured. Xiao Yan shook his head as he replied. Since this is the case, you should be careful. Send a signal if there is an unexpected change. Kai Lin was unable to say anything else when she saw Xiao Yan's insistence. She issued an instruction before leading everyone to slowly withdraw. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw everyone gradually withdraw. Only then did he turn his body. His expression was a little grave as he looked at the pool of blood in front of him. The energy inside was a lot more violent than he had expected. He wondered just what the heaven demon python had thrown in. My constitution is strong to begin with. Additionally, there is the dragon phoenix ancient armor hiding in my body. I do not believe that I cannot do anything to this heaven demon blood pool. Xiao Yan stood beside the blood pool and mused for a moment. He gave a cold smile and pressed his toes on the ground. His body leaped into the blood pool without hesitation. After which, a splash was emitted as he landed in the blood pool. Chi Chi. After Xiao Yan landed inside the blood pool, the originally quiet heaven demon blood pool immediately began to boil, countless blood bubbles continued to rise. A thunder-like mysterious sound quietly appeared. It immediately spread into the distance. End of chapter. Chapter 1412. Nine Star Du Zun. Pain. A bone deep intense pain. Pain was the only thing Xiao Yan felt after leaping into the heaven demon blood pool. The interior of the pool was filled with an extremely wild and violent energy. This energy appeared to have been stirred as it struck Xiao Yan's body from all directions like countless poisonous snakes. The ancient heavenly demon python had thrown some unknown things into this blood pool, causing it to boast some extremely strong corrosive properties. Wisps of white smoke erupted the moment the tendrils came into contact with Xiao Yan's skin, which resulted in an intense pain that drilled into one's heart. Hiss. Xiao Yan inhaled a violent cool breath in his heart because of this intense pain. His hand seal subsequently changed, and his heavenly flame erupted from his body. 
that turned into a circular flame barrier that covered him. I do not believe that I am unable to deal with you, a mere heaven demon blood pool, since I was able to finish off your creator. Sizzle sizzle. The wild and violent energy that had erupted immediately emitted a sizzling sound the moment the heavenly flame appeared. This energy was vaporized by the heavenly flame. The remaining energy gradually became gentle after being refined by the heavenly flame. It turned into unusually pure energy that seeped into Xiao Yan's body. Huh. Xiao Yan only sighed in relief after sensing that the energy had become a little more gentle. The heavenly flame was only able to refine the corrosive properties that could harm him. The remaining energy was beneficial to Xiao Yan and would pour into his body after being refined. As wave after wave of gentle pure energy continued to surge into Xiao Yan's body, he could feel these energy roaming around his skin, muscles, and bones. Each time this energy disappeared, Xiao Yan clearly sensed the strength of his body grow stronger at a slow rate. This place is indeed a perfect training ground. Joy involuntarily rose within Xiao Yan's heart when he sensed a slight change in his body. With this progress, he would be able to rely on the energy of this blood pool to train the King Kong glass body to its peak, and he would be able to break through the 8th star and advance to a 9th star Du Zun. The energy in this heaven demon blood pool was quite terrifying after having accumulated natural treasures that had been gathered by the heaven demon python over hundreds of years, but this was only from Xiao Yan's perspective. The energy within the blood pool might be terrifying, but it was also impure. The heaven demon python was a brutal creature with low intelligence and a powerful physical body. Even if its cubs were to absorb this energy, it would only allow them to evolve quickly. If any other human were to attempt to absorb it, the interior of their body would turn into a mess by this impure energy. At that time, not only would one's strength fail to advance, but one's many years of bitter training might also be ruined. Fortunately, this kind of modeled energy did not pose too much of a problem to Xiao Yan, since he possessed a heavenly flame. Under the frightening temperature of the heavenly flame, any impurities instantly disappeared. Xiao Yan crossed his legs and sat in the blood pool as an increasing amount of energy poured into his body. He merely sat in the blood pool, waiting. Both of his eyes were tightly shut as he quietly waited for the moment of his breakthrough. Two days passed by in the blink of an eye while Xiao Yan was quietly training. Kai Lin, Little Fairy Doctor, Yun Yun, and the others had remained at this mountain belonging to the Heaven Demon Python during these two days. This place was considered quite safe due to there being no ferocious beasts around. The ancient heaven demon python that was under King Lin's control had been released. It simply entrenched itself on the mountaintop and spat out a dense black fog all day long. Quite a number of experts arriving in this place during these two days, but their expressions changed, and they chose to take a detour when they saw this big fellow. Everyone knew the brutalness of these ferocious beasts when they went all out. Moreover, this ferocious beast was at the peak of the Duzun class. There would definitely be injuries and death if they fought it. Those who had come to this place seemed to be after the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Who would come and engage in an all-out battle with a red-eyed ferocious beast for no reason? By relying on the ferocity of the heaven demon python, everyone lived in peace during these two days. They quietly waited for Xiao Yan to successfully exit his retreat. The water in the blood pool deep inside the cave had already been reduced by half, and the scarlet hue of the water had diminished. Over half of the energy within it had disappeared as Xiao Yan devoured it during these two days. A figure with half his body exposed was present in the middle of the blood pool. The skin of the current Xiao Yan was a lot more rosy compared to two days ago. It seemed as though there was an endless amount of blood hidden under his skin. At this moment, Xiao Yan's eyes were still tightly shut. His entire body did not move, appearing just like a statue. However, everyone could sense an extremely powerful energy brewing within Xiao Yan's body at this moment. This energy was like a volcano that was about to erupt. It was searching for the opportunity to break through. This opportunity was something that one needed to wait for. The water in the heaven demon blood pool continued to reduce as everyone waited. When the third day arrived, the water within the heaven demon blood pool was exhausted. A countless number of dense white bones were revealed in the heaven demon blood pool after the water was exhausted. These bones contained some strange unknown things in them. A rich bloody scent spread from them, while Xiao Yan sat like a statue surrounded by these many bones. A blood-colored light was quietly circulating under his skin. This quietness continued for around two hours before an invisible ripple suddenly swept away from Xiao Yan's body. Bang! 
This invisible fluctuation erupted, and in an instant, it had shattered those bones in the blood pool into dust. The ripple continued to spread, and it collided on the mountain wall. Even the entire cave trembled. Xiao Yan's aura suddenly soared when this invisible fluctuation was emitted. This soaring was basically instantaneous. It was like a volcano erupting, appearing as fast as lightning and as ferocious as thunder. Bang! The sar in his aura merely lasted for a moment before a low muffled sound appeared from deep within Xiao Yan's soul. The Du Qi in his body widely soared at this moment. His long hair danced as his robes fluttered. Many cracks swiftly spread from the spot he sat. They covered the blood pool basin in the blink of an eye. Bang! Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened when this sound from deep within his soul appeared. A blood glow lingered in his eyes. King Kong glass body. After this cry was emitted from Xiao Yan's throat, a golden light began to radiate from his body. His body swelled quickly under this brilliant golden light. 10 feet, 30 feet, 50 feet, 70 feet, 80 feet. Xiao Yan's body continued to rapidly swell. In the blink of an eye, his body reached 80 feet in height. Moreover, it did not show any signs of stopping. Ah! Xiao Yan's body seemed to have met a kind of bottleneck the moment it swelled until it was 89 feet tall. The swelling swiftly slowed. However, Xiao Yan was unwilling to remain at this stage. His face turned flushed as he cried out. Bang! After this cry sounded, Xiao Yan's body, which had ceased swelling, suddenly became bigger once again. It reached 90 feet. A giant that seemed to be completely made from gold stood within the mountain. An overbearing indestructible aura surged out of its body. Finally, the giant's legs curled as it suddenly stomped on the ground. Bang bang bang. This violent stomping caused the ground to sink by over 10 meters. That golden giant, which Xiao Yan had transformed into, emitted a swoosh sound as it violently collided with the top of the mountain cave like a cannonball. It continued to charge up and formed a large tunnel with its frightening strength. Xiao Yan seemed to have penetrated the mountain. His body charged toward the mountain peak from within the mountain with lightning-like speed. Boom! Xiao Yan's speed was extremely quick. In less than half a minute, a large tunnel formed within the mountain. Eventually, his body rose, and it broke through the top of the mountain, while emitting a loud sound before appearing in the sky. Roar! The gigantic body with a golden luster paused in the sky. A breath was blocked in its throat. Finally, this breath turned into an earth-shaking roar that reverberated into the distance. Kai Lin's group had sensed something when Xiao Yan was forcefully breaking through the mountain. Hence, they rushed into the air and saw a giant golden figure tunneling through the mountain. His aura has soared. Has he successfully broken through to a nine-star Du Zun? Kai Lin softly muttered when she sensed Xiao Yan's strong aura. Ha ha, Junior Pavilion Chief's training speed is really something to marvel at. Elder King Chen softly sighed. He had spent almost all of his life in order to reach this stage, yet Xiao Yan had already reached it at his young age. Moreover, Elder King Chen clearly understood that he might not be a match for Xiao Yan if they were to really fight. Those elders from the flower sect also exclaimed and nodded. When they had met Xiao Yan for the first time back then, he had merely been a two-star Du Zun. It had only been less than two years, but he had already reached the ninth star. This speed caused them to feel ashamed. Nailin Yanren's pretty eyes looked at the figure that was filled with an incomparably overbearing strength. A gloominess and self-ridicule flashed across her eyes. That man, whom she had viewed as trash back then and insisted on ending their engagement, had currently tossed her far behind him. The thing that caused her to feel depressed and helpless was that she seemed to have formed some faint feelings for this man, who would have become her husband. Even though she understood that it was only one-sided on her part. This is perhaps my retribution from back then she thought in her heart. End of chapter. Chapter 1413. Ancient Region Stage. A thunder-like roar turned into a sound wave and spread into the distance. After this roar gradually disappeared, that golden figure in the sky swiftly began to shrink. The figure recovered his original form. His body moved as he turned into a golden light that rushed toward everyone while he laughed. Junior Pavilion Chief, congratulations. Elder King Cheng congratulated him with a smile when he saw the laughing Xiao Yan head over. It was a lucky breakthrough. Xiao Yan grinned and replied. He twisted his body. A feeling of being full of strength was emitted. He was much stronger compared to three days earlier. The peak of an eight-star Du Zun and the ninth star were merely a step away, but there was an enormous difference between them. Based on Xiao Yan's estimation, 
if he were to completely unleash the King Kong glass body and the clan tattoo's strength at the same time, his strength would be comparable to a 4 or 5 change peak Du Zun. Moreover, if he were to include the Great Heaven Creation Palm and his other powerful Du skills, he would be able to fight against a 6 change peak Du Zun expert as anything happened during these few days? Xiao Yan randomly asked. He only smiled after seeing everyone shake their heads. His eyes shifted to the deepest parts of the ancient wasteland region. They were narrowed slightly as he said, we have delayed another few days. Looks like we must quicken our pace and hurry to the ancient region stage. It would not be good for us to arrive late. I. Kai Lin and the rest nodded. Nearly a dozen groups of people, if not more, passed by this mountain during these three days. Based on the direction they were heading, they were clearly charging toward the ancient region stage. It was likely that many experts had already gathered there. Let's go. We should not delay any longer. It is best for us to leave now. Xiao Yan also understood that they were pressed for time. He immediately waved his hand as he gave a command. Should we use this big fellow as a right and hurry over? The strength of the ancient heaven demon python is considered to be one of the strongest in this ancient wasteland region. We will be able to use its fierceness to charge through if we meet any other ferocious beasts along the way. It will save us some trouble. King Lin pointed at the enormous heaven demon python lingering in the air and laughed. Ha ha, this is naturally the best. Xiao Yan was startled. He immediately smiled and nodded. His body was the first to move as he rushed onto the large body of the heaven demon python. The rushing sound of wind appeared behind him as Kai Lin, the little fairy doctor, and Yun Yun quickly followed. That incomparably violent heaven demon python had become extremely gentle under King Lin's control. It did not resist even a little. When King Lin emitted a whistle, a dense black fog was quickly emitted from the heaven demon python's body. After which, it formed a black cloud that was driven by the heaven demon python. It moved its body and rushed toward the deepest parts of the ancient wasteland region like a thunderbolt. The mountain where Xiao Yan's group had been was quite far from the ancient region stage. If they were to travel normally, they would require at least three days. Fortunately, they had the heaven demon python as their stead this time around. This saved them a lot of trouble. The fierceness of this big fellow was quite infamous in this ancient wasteland region. An ordinary ferocious beast would not dare to appear and stop it after sensing it. Xiao Yan's group was able to take the initiative and detour around those ferocious beasts that were comparable to the heaven demon python in terms of strength. Even if these beasts were able to detect the heaven demon python, they would not purposefully pursue it because of their fear. In this way, Xiao Yan's speed had significantly increased. Xiao Yan also came across some factions along the way, but most of them were factions that Xiao Yan had never met before. They were likely factions that usually kept a low profile. These factions usually did not show themselves, but they did possess a strong foundation. They were like the Cloud Wind sect, which Xiao Yan had never even heard of much less even seen. However, that faction possessed three experts at the peak of the Du Zun class. One of them even had half a foot in the Bansheng class. This strength was comparable to the elders or even grand elders in renowned factions like the Profound Sky sect. Although these factions were quite strong, Xiao Yan did not intend to stop and befriend them. Currently, all of them had come with the same aim. Unless they possessed an extremely special relationship, they would ultimately end up fighting each other. That fragile relationship could easily be broken by the temptation of the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Even though there were many factions who wished to step forward and express their good will because of the stead that Xiao Yan's group rode, Xiao Yan did not give them the opportunity to do so. He asked King Lin to increase their speed, causing those fellows to be rebuked. Xiao Yan's group spent two days traveling without any obstructions before they gradually approached the area of the ancient region stage. The ancient region stage was rumored to be the site of a battle that happened during ancient times. Many extremely powerful experts had once died during this battle, causing the land to vaguely create a strange pressure. It was this pressure that caused this place to be the only location within the ancient wasteland region where ferocious beasts did not dare to tread. Additionally, this ancient region stage was located at an intersection between the middle and deepest part of the ancient wasteland region. One could enter the deepest part of this ancient region from this stage. Therefore, many factions had chosen to come to this safe resting spot in this ancient wasteland region. The heaven demon python was withdrawn when Xiao Yan's group was around 5 kilometers away from the ancient region stage. The beast was too big and attracted too much attention. It must naturally be stored away in order to avoid some unnecessary trouble. 
Xiaoyan's group flew for another 10 minutes or so after approaching the ancient region stage. An enormous square suddenly appeared in their line of sight. Xiaoyan's group was stunned when they saw this square appear in the wilderness. Only after seeing the dense crowd of humans standing on the square did their hearts finally came to a sudden understanding. This place was likely the so-called ancient region stage. Everyone, be careful. Xiaoyan sighed in relief after seeing that so many people had gathered together. There were ferocious beasts all over this ancient wasteland region. It was the first time he had seen so many people since entering the wasteland. It caused him to relax a little, but Xiaoyan understood that this feeling could not be relied on. Hence, he softly uttered words of warning. Aye. Everyone nodded when they heard Xiaoyan's reminder. They had covered the thousand-plus meter distance within the blink of an eye. They slowly landed after approaching the enormous square. Their arrival also attracted some eyes, but these eyes quickly shifted away. Some groups and experts hurried to this place during this period of time. It was nothing surprising. The bloody scent on these people is really dense. Xiaoyan's eyes swept over the crowd, which had separated into small circular groups of varying sizes. There was a similar scent radiating from all these people. All of them boasted a bloody scent. This scent was not the blood of humans. Instead, it was that of ferocious beasts. Don't tell me that these fellows have formed groups to hunt those ferocious beasts? Xiaoyan felt some doubt in his heart, but he did not open his mouth to ask. Instead, he slowly led Kai Lin's group to the square before heading to the middle. Under normal circumstances, the Gu clan would likely not give up such an opportunity. The Bodhisattva heart and Bodhisattva seed possessed a miraculous effect on the younger generations. The people who were at the peak of the Du Zun class. Some new elite Du Shengs might even appear as a result. Xiao Yan naturally did not wish to search for the Gu clan. The one he wanted to find was Shun Er. With her status in the Gu clan, she would definitely be given the chance to come and attempt to find this Bodhisattva ancient tree. Due to the beautiful Kai Lin, the pristine Yun Yun, and the gorgeous little fairy doctor, their group attracted a number of unusual gazes when they walked into the square. The group that could reach this place possessed a great strength. Moreover, there were all sorts of people present. If these people still possessed some sense of reasoning, they would not have been able to resist stepping forward to strike up a conversation. Even though this was the case, some impudent gazes still caused the faces of Kai Lin's group to turn icy cold. Xiao Yan did not meet anyone he was familiar with as he walked, causing him to feel a little surprised. Upon approaching the middle of the square, he began to discover a problem. It seemed that the groups or people that were closer to the middle of the square were stronger. Those at the outer edges were the weakest. He wondered if this kind of positioning occurred naturally, or it was the result of someone's actions. Xiao Yan knit his brows. His footsteps did not slow as he gradually arrived at the middle of the square in front of everyone's eyes. Only after arriving at that spot did Xiao Yan discover that there was a thousand-foot-large two-meter-tall stone stage present at the middle. There were some people on the stone stage, but their numbers were a lot less than those below. Nevertheless, the people on the stage all expressed a common trait. Their auras were all extremely powerful. Xiao Yan was startled when he came across the stage. However, he did not give it any additional thought. His eyes swept over the stone stage as a smile immediately surfaced on his face. He finally found some familiar figures, especially when it came to a green-clothed beautiful lady seated with her eyes shut in the crowd. A gentleness flashed across his eyes. Let's go and meet some familiar people. Xiao Yan turned his head and informed everyone. After which, he stepped onto the stone stage and walked to the Gu clan area. However, the moment Xiao Yan stepped onto the stone stage, he suddenly sensed ice-cold eyes thrown at him. At the same time, a faint icy cold voice slowly sounded from the stone stage. This place is not where you should come. Get lost. Xiao Yan's footsteps paused when he heard this icy cold voice. He turned his head. As his eyes glanced over, the corner of his mouth was lifted into an arc. Feng Kinger? End of chapter. Chapter 1414? Show of Strength. The icy cold voice that suddenly sounded on the stone stage attracted some surprised gazes. The eyes of some people began to gloat when these eyes swept over Xiao Yan and Feng King Er. Big Brother Xiao Yan? The group from the Gu clan sitting in a corner of the stone stage also shifted their eyes over because of Feng King Er's voice. That green clothed young lady, who had been resting with her eyes shut, had opened them at this moment. Her pretty eyes locked onto the skinny young man who had stepped onto the stone stage. She was momentarily startled before some joy began to surge into her eyes. 
Ha ha, it looks like Xiao Yan has met with some trouble. It is unexpected that he has also formed a grudge with the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. A silver robed man by the side smiled as spoke. This person was not unfamiliar. He was one of the four great generals of the Gu clan and had entered the heavenly tomb to train with Xiao Yan back then, Gu Hua. Shunur bunched her eyebrows together when she heard his words. Her bright eyes landed on the colorfully clothed woman as she softly said, this heaven demon phoenix tribe is going overboard. Don't be anxious to intervene. Xiao Yan will be able to resolve it. Gu Qingyang faintly laughed. With his senses, he was naturally able to tell that Xiao Yan had already become a nine-star Du Zun. Although Feng King Er's aura was a little strange, Xiao Yan was able to defeat Gu Yao, who had reached the peak of an eight-star Du Zun, when he was a five-star Du Zun. Even less needed to be said now. Shun er nodded. Her bright eyes suddenly slide to a spot behind Xiao Yan and finally paused on Kai Lin. An unknown fluctuation rose within her eyes. The stone stage, where many discussions had been occurring, became a lot quieter as a result. Numerous eyes gathered on Xiao Yan. An oisy girl, there is no need to bother. However, Xiao Yan merely smiled under the focus of these many pairs of eyes. He did not even turn his head to Feng King Er. All he did was turn his head to the group behind him and randomly utter some harsh words. After which, he lifted his foot and climbed onto the stone stage. A furious green surged onto Feng King Er's face when she heard Xiao Yan's words. Both of her eyes became unusually cold. She waved her hand, and a colorful pillar tore through space like lightning. It ruthlessly shot toward Xiao Yan's head. Bang! Xiao Yan's feet paused when he sensed Feng King Er's sudden attack. His left hand was extended and grabbed that colorful pillar. At the same time, a frightening flame quickly appeared. It transformed into a ferocious string of flames that rushed toward Feng King Er through the pillar. Humph! Feng King Er's eyes turned cold upon seeing this flame. She was aware of the great strength of Xiao Yan's heavenly flame. She pulled her finger across the line, and the pillar was cut apart. At the same time, a vast and mighty aura that was ancient and experienced suddenly surged out of her body in all directions. An earth-shaking phoenix cry vaguely appeared. This feeling. It is indeed that of an ancient heaven phoenix. Xiao Yan's heart shook when he sensed Feng King Er's aura. This aura and feeling was somewhat similar to the ancient heaven phoenix avatar that had died a countless number of years ago, back in the ancient forest of the Dusheng remains. Although Xiao Yan was not certain why this aura had appeared, he was certain that the reason Feng King Er's strength had soared was definitely related to that dead heaven demon phoenix. Xiao Yan, today, you will use your life to compensate me for the pain that I have received. Feng King Er's face was icy cold as she glared at Xiao Yan with a great hatred. If Xiao Yan's group had not snatched the dragon phoenix origin fruit, they would not have suffered punishment after returning. Fortunately, they were able to find a trace of Heaven Phoenix Essence blood from within the Heaven Phoenix corpse that they had brought back from the ancient forest, but that Essence blood was quite weak. Hence, the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe experts decided to forcefully transplant the bones in order to obtain the pure Heaven Phoenix Essence blood. They placed the bones with hidden Heaven Phoenix Essence blood into the body of a clan member. However, this transplant would undoubtedly result in one enduring an endless amount of pain. There were a total of 10 young clan members who had undergone the bone transplantation in the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe, but it only succeeded for two people. One of them was Feng King Er. Those eight others, who had failed, all died. Humph. The eyes of Kai Lin and the others behind Xiao Yan turned cold when they saw Feng King Er attacking as she pleased. Du Qi surged out of their bodies. After which, many pairs of eyes coldly looked at Feng King Er as Du Qi gathered in their palms. You are Xiao Yan? Since King Er wishes to spar with you, you should fight with her alone. The others need not intervene otherwise, you will end up suffering a loss. The faint voice was suddenly transmitted from behind Feng King Er when Du Qi surged from Kai Lin's group. Everyone looked over, only to find a white-robed man. Surprisingly, this man had rare-colored pupils, appearing extremely strange. Over a dozen experts from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe were staring at Xiao Yan's group in an unfriendly manner when man with colored pupils spoke. Clearly, they would all attack at the first disagreement. The ones who will suffer a loss will perhaps be your group, right? A similarly calm voice was suddenly transmitted from another direction after man with the colored eyes spoke, causing the man to be startled. His eyes glanced toward the source of the voice before frowning and demanding, Gu King Yang? Is your group also planning to interfere? Ha ha, if it is a one-on-one -on -one fight, we naturally not need to intervene. 
However, I cannot really endure watching people bully others with numbers. Gu Qingyang faintly laughed. After which, his eyes slide to Xiao Yan as he nodded. Xiao Yan returned a smile when he saw Gu Qingyang nod, but his eyes remained on the green clothed girl from the Gu clan. The Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe was not an ordinary faction. Even a faction like the Gu clan would not easily clash with them. The reason that they were willing to intervene was likely because of Shun Er. That green clothed lady in the crowd sweetly smiled at Xiao Yan when she felt his gaze. That short lived flower like smile caused many experts to give her a sideward glance. Ha ha, all right. Since this is the case, we'll let you give it a try. The colorful eyed man stared at Gu Qingyang for a moment. He did not expect Xiao Yan to possess such a relationship with the Gu clan, but he was extremely cunning. He smiled as he turned his head to speak to Feng King Er. Feng King Er nodded after hearing the words of the man with colorful pupils. Her eyes coldly looked at Xiao Yan as she cried out, Xiao Yan, do you dare to step forward and accept this challenge? Xiao Yan smiled. He extended his hand and stopped the group behind him. Most of the people here were unfamiliar, so Xiao Yan saw a gloating expression in their eyes. He had come to this place for the Bodhisattva ancient tree, but this place was chaotic with all sorts of people. Many experts were also present. One needed to deter others if one wished to survive in this wasteland. Naturally, he could not step back now. As you wish. Xiao Yan slowly stepped forward. His face still contained a smile, but both of his eyes flickered with a dangerous chill. Although he was uncertain why Feng Kinger's strength had soared, she still lagged far behind him. Even though her strength had soared, she was only a three-change peak Du Zun. Other nine-star Du Zuns might not be able to defeat such an expert, but this strength was nothing to Xiao Yan. Humph. A cold smile surfaced on Feng Kinger's face when she saw Xiao Yan step forward. Her foot stomped on the ground as colorful silk shot out in all directions. The silk appeared like incomparably sharp blades, since they were accompanied by an extremely sharp wind that covered the area within a hundred feet around Xiao Yan. He had nowhere to retreat. It is still the same old tricks. Your strength has soared, but you are unable to control it. You are just like a beggar who has picked up a treasure. Xiao Yan slowly shook his head when he saw the colorful silks cover his sight. He took one step after another forward. A dense flame suddenly surged out of his body and wrapped around him. Any silk that charged into the flame would only be able to charge five feet forward before they were turned into ashes that scattered. Xiao Yan took one step after another toward Feng King Er as many people watched. His strolling steps appeared quite relaxed. Compared to Xiao Yan's comfortable manner, Feng King Er's face was a furious green. She had not expected that she would not be able to pose a threat to Xiao Yan after her strength had soared. How could her prideful self endure this? Heaven Phoenix Shadow. A furious cry was emitted from Feng King Er's mouth. Du Qi quickly surged out of her body and formed a thousand foot large Heaven Phoenix illusory figure in the sky. Wave after wave of an ancient pressure spread. Ow. The enormous Heaven Phoenix illusory figure let out a clear cry as both of its wings were flapped. It carried a frightening might that ruthlessly shot toward Xiao Yan below. That momentum caused the expressions of many experts to change. Xiao Yan finally halted because of the enormous Heaven Phoenix illusory figure. He lifted his head and looked at the Heaven Phoenix that was swiftly being magnified. He was certain in his heart that the great increase in Feng Kinger's strength was definitely related to that Heaven Phoenix skeleton in the ancient forest. Xiao Yan, die. The hatred on Feng Kinger's face became even denser as she stared at the Heaven Phoenix illusory figure, which was less than a thousand feet from Xiao Yan. An icy cold cry echoed across the square. At this moment, Xiao Yan was unable to dodge even if he wished. It is still the same little tricks. However, Xiao Yan merely grinned when he heard Feng Kinger's cold cry. He did not show any sign of dodging. All he did was slowly shake his head. At the same time, a golden light surged from his dark black eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 1415? Meeting of two women. After Xiao Yan's soft laughter rang out, a bright golden light suddenly erupted over the square like a golden sun. Most people hurriedly narrowed their eyes because of this glaring golden light. They were unable to see a human figure where the golden light had appeared. The golden light have already filled one's eyes. Although they were unable to see anything, those people present on the square were not ordinary people. They were still able to sense the enormous Heaven Phoenix illusory figure in the sky with its extremely majestic energy. They then sensed it ruthlessly collide with the spot where Xiao Yan stood. Bang! 
The entire square violently shook the moment the collision occurred. A powerful energy rippled along the ground and formed a circular shape, which suddenly spread apart. Some of the experts who were closer were forced to take a couple of steps back. The wild and violent energy spread apart as everyone forcefully opened their eyes. Dust filled their sight, and they were unable to see the exact situation. Arrogant brat. Some of the experts shook their heads when they saw this dust. This person dared to act arrogantly in the face of a full-force attack by a Pete Du Zun. He was really seeking death. Humph. Feng Kinger looked at the spot where dust filled the air. Her tensed body relaxed slightly as a snort was emitted from her nostrils. Ever since she had met Xiao Yan, it was the first time that she had gotten him to taste such a feeling. Bang. However, Feng Kinger's snort had just sounded when the ground where the dust remained suddenly trembled. A golden light suddenly rushed out at an extremely frightening speed. This golden light was extremely huge, but an instant later, it turned into a skinny figure. Finally, this figure appeared in front of Feng Kinger in a ghost-like fashion in front of many stunned eyes. You. How is this possible? Shock surged across Feng Kinger's face when she saw Xiao Yan appear in front of her with his clothes completely intact. Before she could launch another attack, a palm was rapidly magnified in her eyes. Bam. The clear sound of a slap suddenly echoed over the stone stage. Everyone saw Feng Kinger's body fly back and rub against the ground. It only came to a slow stop about a hundred meters away. Her thin and frail yet pretty face was left with a blood-red handprint. Traces of blood hung on the corner of her mouth as some disbelief remained visible on her face. She had been slapped so hard by Xiao Yan that she had fainted. Regardless of where your strength has come from, it ultimately does not belong to you. You used some unorthodox means. Xiao Yan looked at the figure in the distance with cold eyes. His voice was calm and rippleless. Strength could only be relied upon if one obtained it from training. When Xiao Yan had obtained Xiao Xuan's inheritance back then, he had not crazily increased his own strength. Instead, he had done his best to suppress it. On the other hand, Feng Kinger had gone all out to try and raise her strength, but this was an unorthodox method. She would never truly reach the peak. Hiss. The surrounding observers inhaled a breath of cool air when they saw Xiao Yan send Feng Kinger flying with a palm strike. This fellow really did not know how to show mercy to a beautiful girl. How violent. If I was in his place, I would not be able to strike such a beauty. Tisk tisk, I would prefer to secretly beat her when there are only the two of us. Xiao Yan randomly swung his hand as he heard these strange laughs. His face was without expression. Feng Kinger's earlier attack intended on taking his life. Xiao Yan would not treat such a person as a woman any longer. Instead, she was an enemy. Xiao Yan had never shown mercy when facing an enemy, regardless of how beautiful she was. Bastard. The group from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe, along with the man with colored pupils, were stunned when they saw what happened. The members of the tribe immediately became furious when they recovered. They stood up and prepared to attack. Stop, Kinger is weaker than him. Carry her back. The man with colored pupils suddenly opened his mouth when these people were about to attack. His colored pupils looked at Xiao Yan as he softly said, you are quite strong. If you wish to probe someone else's strength in the future, you should do it yourself. You are really nothing to ask a woman to do it. Xiao Yan glanced at this man with colored pupils as he reprimanded him ha ha, I have learned my lesson. I will act personally the next time around. That man with colored pupils seemed to smile in an unconcerned manner, but his colorful eyes flickered with a dangerous glint. I will await you, anytime. A grin had also surfaced on Xiao Yan's face. After which, he ignored that person and turned around. He led Kai Lin's group to where the Gu clan was located. The smile on the face of the man with colored pupils slowly disappeared when Xiao Yan turned around. A jade pendant in his hand was quietly turned into dust before scattering from his palm. He he, you are really ruthless. This is the first time I have seen you beat a woman. The silver-robed Gu Hua gave Xiao Yan a thumb-ups and laughed when he saw him leading a group over. Xiao Yan was helpless when he heard Gu Hua's words. He cupped his hands to Gu King Yang and the rest. After which, his eyes looked at Shunner in the middle. Big brother Xiao Yan, you are very late this time around. Shunner softly laughed after seeing Xiao Yan look over. Her pretty eyes suddenly swept behind Xiao Yan as she spoke. This must be older sister Kai Lin, right? I have frequently heard big brother Xiao Yan mention you. Kai Lin was slightly startled when she heard Shunner's words. She had heard Xiao Ding mention Shunner back in the GMI Empire. 
This person was Xiao Yan's childhood sweetheart. If that incident hadn't happened, the one who would have become Xiao Yan's wife would most definitely have been her. Moreover, Kai Lin also understood that Shunar occupied a great part of Xiao Yan's heart. From a certain point of view, Kai Lin was a little like the third party in this relationship. This kind of embarrassing position caused Kai Lin to feel a little uneasy, but she still nodded gently as a form of politeness. Xiao Yan felt a little embarrassed in his heart when he heard the two women speak, but he was unable to say anything. He led his group over and sat down. The group that followed behind Xiao Yan was mostly women. Other than a couple of elders from the flower sect, all of them possessed a lovely appearance. Hence, only at this moment did Gu King Yang and the rest discover that the atmosphere had become a little strange. After hearing Shunar's earlier words, many eyes landed on Kai Lin. They were aware of plenty of information related to Xiao Yan. Therefore, they understood who Kai Lin was after some thoughts. Their expressions quickly became a little strange. This Xiao Yan. Was he really planning on enjoying both women? In spite of their relationship with Xiao Yan, they involuntarily felt a blotch in their hearts when they thought of this. Just what position did Shunar possess in the Gu clan? She was the goddess in the hearts of countless clan members. Forget about Xiao Yan having successfully obtained Shunar's heart. The fact that he was planning on enjoying two beauties was a little too good, right? Although they these thoughts whirled around their hearts, none of them were foolish enough to give voice to these thoughts. Since Shunar had not created a disturbance, they were unable to say much despite feeling a knot in their hearts. Shunar appeared quite calm while everyone was feeling embarrassed. She was gentle and polite as she greeted everyone behind Xiao Yan. However, she paused slightly when her eyes met Nailin Yanren's eyes. The last time that the two of them had met was when Nailin Yanren had come to the Xiao clan to end the engagement. At that time, Nailin Yanren was haughty and arrogant. After these years of polishment, she was no longer the same arrogant and overbearing person from back then. Nailin Yanren's face did not reveal anything in front of Shunar's scanning eyes. However, her heart was complicated as she recalled something. When she was about to leave after having successfully resolved the issue of ending the engagement, Shunar, who was seated beside the window, had uttered some words to her. Lady Nailin, hopefully you won't regret what you have done today. These words, which contained some cold indifference, were spoken in a somewhat soft and ethereal voice over a decade ago, yet Nailin Yanren clearly remembered them. Moreover, the thing that caused her to feel a little downcast was that these words had come true ten years ago. She had indeed regretted her actions, but this regret was useless. Big Brother Xiao Yan, you have come to the ancient wasteland region because of the Bodhisattva ancient tree, right Shunar's bright eyes shifted to Xiao Yan after having greeted everyone. She asked him a question. I. Xiao Yan hurriedly nodded when he saw that Shunar did not do anything. He felt an apology take shape in his heart. The guilt in his heart had become even denser, the more Shunar acted as though she was unconcerned. He understood that Shunar was unwilling to let this matter cause a din and give him a headache. We will be able to enter the deepest part of the ancient wasteland region if we walk further north. The Bodhisattva ancient tree is in that direction. Shunar's delicate finger pointed to the north of the ancient region stage, as she softly said. However, it is very difficult to reach the Bodhisattva ancient tree because there is a ferocious beast army guarding it 50 kilometers from here. They have surrounded the deep region. We must charge through the sea of ferocious beasts in order to enter. Everyone here has given it a try during these past few days. However, everyone was blocked and forced to withdraw. The ferocious beast army is not only full of a frightening number, there are also some powerful ones among them that are very difficult to deal with. Shunar lifted her face. Sunlight scattered down from the sky. Her upturned nose caused her face to reveal an extremely beautiful outline. A gentle jade-like luster seeped out of her skin, appearing like a pure lotus. Such beauty was completely different than Kai Lin's bewitching beauty. No wonder there is such a rich bloody scent on everyone's bodies. They actually charged into the ferocious beast army. Xiao Yan muttered with a sudden understanding. I, currently everyone here needs to join hands. Otherwise, none of us will be able to enter. Shunar parted the black hair on her forehead. Her face turned to a spot that was a short distance away. There was an additional trace of solemnness in her pretty eyes as she said, the temporarily alliance was suggested by that person. Big brother Xiao Yan, you should be careful of him because he is from the Hall of Souls. Moreover, he is one two people from the current Hun clan's younger generation, who will likely be the next Hun clan chief. Xiao Yan's heart shook when he heard these words. His eyes followed Shunar's gaze as he looked over. 
End of chapter. Chapter 1416. Hun Yu, Beast Tide. A black-clothed man was wearing a smile on his face and chatting with an expert from an unknown faction when Xiao Yan's gaze landed on him. The man had long black hair that randomly fell behind him. It appeared quite free and unruly. His face was as pale as jade, giving one a gentle feeling. The first impression that such a person gave others was extremely good. However, when such a first impression came from someone from the Hall of Souls, Xiao Yan felt a danger originate from deep within his heart. This black-clothed man did not say anything when the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe was finding trouble with Xiao Yan earlier, nor did he add insult to injury. Hence, Xiao Yan had not noticed him. After Shunur had pointed out his identity, the caution in Xiao Yan's heart soared. He had made a lot of contact with the Hun clan and knew that this clan was extremely mysterious and unfathomable. All of them were extraordinary. This fellow might have a friendly appearance, but it was precisely this friendliness that caused him to appear even more dangerous. There was a good saying. A dog that bites people doesn't bark. This black-clothed man clearly belonged to this category. Moreover, from what Shunur had said, this fellow was one out of two people most likely to be the next clan head of the Hun clan. This proved that this person was definitely not someone that would be easy to deal with. Even someone as strong as Hun Yu from the younger generation of the Hun clan did not obtain such an evaluation. While Xiao Yan was observing the black-clothed man, the man seemed to have sensed something. He turned his head and looked at Xiao Yan's face, only to reveal a slight smile. Xiao Yan's eyes involuntarily narrowed when he saw the other party's smile, which seemed to represent friendly intent. After which, he turned his head and nodded at Shun Er. He softly said, a very dangerous person. This person is called Hun Yu. His name is a little feminine, but he is definitely a man. According to the information that we have received, the competition within an ancient clan like the Hun clan is extremely cruel. The fate of those who fail is usually miserable. It is rumored that this Hun Yu has never failed since he was born. All of his competitors have fallen under his feet. Additionally, this person possesses the divine bloodline of the Hun clan. Shunur's voice contained a rare seriousness. It seemed that this man called Hun Yu was indeed very difficult to deal with. Divine bloodline, huh? Xiao Yan's eyelids twitched. No wonder Hun Yu had never failed. Such a bloodline just proved his potential. As long as he was rational and avoided doing anything foolish, his future was limitless. This Hun Yu is different from the other members of the Hun clan, who desire to fight and snatch your soul the moment they open their mouth. This person appears friendly, but his very bones are dark and ruthless. Gu Qingyang interrupted. His tone was filled with some fear. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. His heart regarded this Hun Yu as a dangerous person. If he had the chance, Xiao Yan would kill this person at the first opportunity. Their stances were different. They were destined to be enemies. Since this was the case, it was necessary to prepare a murderous intent in his heart. The first to act was at an advantage, while the last to act would suffer first. Xiao Yan understood this logic. Are we going to launch a full-scale assault and charge into the beast tide this time around? Xiao Yan glanced around him. There were at least a thousand people gathered here. All of them clearly possessed a great strength. This lineup was worthy of being called terrifying. Yes, once the people here are properly arranged, we will once again charge into the beast tide. Otherwise, none of the factions will be able to successfully enter alone. The numbers that form the beast tide are too frightening. Shunur nodded and replied. At that time, our parties should gather together. It will be safer if we have more people. Xiao Yan gently nodded when he heard a reply. He was just about to speak when a soft cry suddenly reverberated over the square. He looked to the source of the sound. The voice was coming from that man called Hun Yu. Everyone, you should all be aware of our current situation. Our aim is the Bodhisattva ancient tree in the deepest part of the ancient wasteland region. Whether we end up at odds after we reach that place is a little too distant for us to think about now, because not a single faction among us will be able to charge through the beast tide alone. Hun Yu's clear voice spread over the stone stage. There was something convincing about it. If one did not know about this person's identity and schemes, this Hun Yu did possess a good demeanor. Our only chance is to gather everyone together and form an alliance. We will act like an arrow that violently pierced through the beast tide. Only by relying on all of our strength will we be able to tear apart the beast wave. Otherwise, there is no hope to reach the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Our alliance will not have any form of seniority or ranking. Hence, no one will give orders to another. Everyone can rest assured that no one will be exploited. 
Only mutual support is present. Of course, anyone who doesn't believe me can remain behind. I will not force anyone to continue, but whoever remains behind will return empty-handed. A silence appeared after everyone heard Hun Yu's words. A moment later, many people began to nod their heads. No matter how one put it, there was one sentence that Hun Yu had said that was correct. None of the factions here would be able to pass through the beast tide by relying on their own strength. The only way to reach the deepest part was to join hands and charge to it together. Brother Hun Yu is correct. The Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe will accompany you during this attempt. The man with the colorful pupils opened his mouth and faintly spoke, while everyone's hearts were swaying. Ha ha, in that case, I will thank Brother Ju Feng. Hun Yu smiled when he heard Ju Feng's words. He cupped his hands to the man with colorful pupils in the distance. You are right. We will not be able to gain anything by remaining here. It is better if all of us make an attempt together. Many people were clearly convinced by the words from the man with colorful pupils. Quite a number of people immediately cried out. This continued to spread, and an increasing number of people began to nod their heads in agreement. That fellow doesn't appear to be an ordinary person. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the man with colorful pupils without leaving a trace. He made a comment. Ha ha, that person is called Yu Feng. His reputation in the magical beast world is quite great, and it has already been decided that he will be the next tribal head of the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. His colorful eyes are the result of the key method he practices. Most of his do skills train both of his eyes. They are quite rare and difficult to deal with. Gu King Yang glanced at the man with colorful eyes and laughed. Xiao Yan nodded. No wonder he appeared to possess a high status within the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. He had already been picked to be the next chief. He was indeed extraordinary. Since no one has any objections, let us all get moving immediately. It is around noon now and the time when the ferocious beasts are laziest. Han Yu smiled when he saw that the majority had agreed to join hands to charge into the beast tide. The mouth on his white jade-like face was lifted into an arc. Let's also prepare to leave. Shunner softly said. Everyone should be careful when we charge into the beast tide. Even though everyone has gathered together, there is less than a 10% chance to succeed. That Hun Yu and Yu Feng are also aware of this success rate. They are only planning on using these people's strengths to try and penetrate deeper into the beast tide. At that time, they will be able to rely on their own strength to take advantage of the situation and break through. Most of the remaining people will become food for these ferocious beasts. These people have really underestimated the ancient wasteland region. We cannot charge through even with all these people? Xiao Yan's heart trembled upon hearing her words. There were hundreds of elite Du Zongs present. One could easily find a large group of expert Du Zongs. Such a powerful lineup was unable to break through the beast tide? Just how terrifying was the beast tide? Everyone in the square was beginning to move, while Xiao Yan was feeling shocked in his heart because of the beast tide. Many figures rushed into the sky after which, they were remained suspended in the air like a close-knit dark cloud. Let's go. Xiao Yan did not delay any longer when he saw the main group beginning to move. He nodded at everyone before slowly rising into the air. The remaining people quickly followed, forming quite a large circle as they gathered together. Everyone, let's move. Hun Yu glanced at Xiao Yan's group from the sky without drawing attention. After which, he looked at the sparse human figures on the square below. He ceased paying attention to them and let out a loud laugh. After which, his figure took the lead as he charged to the northern sky. A large black mass quickly followed, accompanied by loud the rumbling sound of wind being split. Xiao Yan's group was also mixed in this large contingent. They did not approach the front and attempt to stand out. The faster one's energy was exhausted, the earlier one would end up dying. That black mass of people was like a dark cloud as it flew through the sky with lightning-like speed. The 50-kilometer distance was covered within less than 10 minutes. When the large group flew over the final lush green mountain, black endless plains appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Xiao Yan's gaze leaped over the large crowd and looked over the black plains. His mouth immediately inhaled a violent breath of cold air. One could see black clouds above the endless plains as many large ferocious beasts filled the ground. They were packed tight and appeared like a blood-colored sea that extended into the horizon. Ferocious roars filled with violence continuously resonated over the plains like thunder. Is this the ancient wasteland region's beast tide? How frightening. Xiao Yan involuntarily muttered as he exhaled a cold breath. No wonder Shunner had said that they unlikely to make it through despite so many experts gathering together. 
Compared to that beast tide, their group was like a grain of sand in the ocean. Xiao Yan's eyes leaped over the endless beast tide and scanned the distant dark area. Is the Bodhisattva ancient tree behind the beast tide? End of chapter. Chapter 1417. Charging against the beast tide. Everyone, the beast tide is in front. Now is the best time to attack. Since I suggested we form this alliance, the most dangerous front spot will be temporarily filled by my people, but once we are exhausted, we will pull back, and it will be someone else's turn. While Xiao Yan was quietly shocked because of the terrifying beast tide, Han Yu's voice had once again appeared. Many people quietly sighed in relief when they heard that he would take the most dangerous spot. Would these people be so kind? Xiao Yan shook his head and smiled when he heard Hun Yu's words. He understood the Hall of Souls very well. Would someone from that faction be this impartial? It was a great joke. Everyone, prepare to attack. A warm smile continued to hang on Hun Yu's face. His eyes slowly swept over the large group before pausing on Xiao Yan and Shunner. Subsequently, he abruptly turned his body and charged forward. Over ten black-robed figures quickly followed behind him. The many experts quickly followed behind Hun Yu's group. Their duki slowly spread from their bodies. Xiao Yan's large group slowly rose into the sky. They were not too close to the front and had chosen to remain near the middle. The pressure near the middle would be less. The black mass in the sky formed an arrow shape with Hun Yu's group at the front. If this large contingent were to erupt, the force would undoubtedly be extremely frightening. Let's go. Seeing that the formation had taken shape, Han Yu at the front finally waved his hand. He took the lead to charge forward. A deafening sound made from many sounds of rushing wind charged toward the beast tide a short distance away. Following Han Yu, the arrow formation behind him followed with a rumbling sound. A rushing wind noise echoed across the sky. Roar roar. This large formation was discovered by many ferocious beasts when it was still 10,000 feet from the beast tide. Roars that were filled with the violence rang out like thunder. These roars spread into the distance and stirred even more roars. Charge. The 10,000-foot distance was covered in the blink of an eye. Frightening Du Qi surged out of the bodies of Hun Yu's group at the front before shooting forward. All of the ferocious beasts within a thousand feet were shattered into blood pools in an instant. At the same time, this large group ruthlessly charged into the beast tide. Bang bang. The group unleashed a shocking momentum the moment it collided with the beast tide. Waves of powerful dookie spluttered out. The ferocious beasts within a thousand feet were shattered to death. The roars that the ferocious beasts had emitted before their deaths continued to reverberate across the sky. Xiao Yan's large group was situated near the middle of the contingent. A couple of Duki pillars were occasionally swung out, killing any ferocious beasts that approached. At the same time, their eyes continued to sweep around them. The ferocious beasts in this outer part of the beast tide were not very strong, which was why they were able to push in so easily. Once they entered deeper into the beast tide, this fearless advancement would likely be stopped. Reality was just as Xiao Yan's group had expected. After this group had forcefully torn a large hole through the beast tide and advanced 10,000 feet, the surrounding pressure suddenly began to soar. Some of the powerful ferocious beasts were able to charge closer to the group. The stench they gave off caused the expressions of many people to appear a little grave. Bang. Shunner randomly tossed a Duki pillar out and killed two ferocious beasts charging toward them. There was an additional solemnness on her face as she said, it is already possible to see some Du's on class ferocious beasts here. If we continue to advance, we will end up meeting some Du's unequivalent beasts. That will be when the true battle will begin. Everyone should be careful. Do not get entangled with them. One will definitely die if one falls to this beast tide. Xiao Yan nodded. They were gradually advancing deeper into the beast tide. There were a countless number of ferocious beasts in front of them, to their left, to their right and even up in the sky. They could no longer retreat. All they could do was charge forward until they truly broke through the beast tide. Using a momentary lull in fighting, Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the front of the arrow formation. At this moment, Hun Yu's group seemed to be doing their best to attack the ferocious beasts in front. Row after row of ferocious beasts shook and fell to their hands. The group continued to venture deeper under their guidance. At this moment, many people had begun to gradually believe that Hun Yu was indeed performing his due diligence for this group. However, Xiao Yan was naturally not included with the people who thought this. The group swiftly advanced as the ground trembled. Fresh blood and ferocious beasts' corpses landed everywhere they passed, but the scarlet fresh blood did not frighten the beast tide. 
Instead, it caused the beasts to become crazier as they charged at the contingent without any fear of death. This swift advancement continued for about 20,000 feet before it clearly slowed. Some of the ferocious beasts were able to charge to the front of the group. After which, they exchanged blows with some experts. Although these ferocious beasts would quickly turn into a pool of blood by the combined effort of many experts, the situation had clearly become a little more difficult. If one were to look down on these planes from the sky, one would be able to see an increasing number of ferocious beasts heading toward the group of humans after hearing the commotion. They were densely packed and appeared like an army of ants, causing one's skin to turn numb. Bang. The situation became more difficult, and in the end, even with the combined attacks of many experts, the group was no longer able to quickly kill some of the ferocious beasts. A terrible physical battle had finally begun. While Hun Yu's group was fighting an intense battle with the beast tied at the front, everyone could clearly sense their speed greatly slow. With this reduction in speed, the ferocious beasts from the left, right and center quickly gave chase. After which, a miserable battle suddenly erupted. Roar. Boom. Many different ferocious beasts with red eyes wildly charged into the group. Although most of the ferocious beasts were killed by the combined effort of some experts, some exceptionally strong ferocious beasts still managed to approach the group. Hence, the group began to experience some injuries and deaths. Sharp miserable screeches continued to spread from all around. Move quickly. The faces of most people turned pale when faced with such an enormous pressure. They hurriedly urged the entire group to push forward. At this moment, Xiao Yan's eyes once again swept to the front, but he discovered that Hun Yu and those experts from the Hall of Souls had completely vanished. The group at the front consisted of experts who were being pushed by those from the back. They were unable to retreat and could only charge forward. As these experts at the front faced various ferocious beasts, they did their best to unleash their attacks. However, they became more exhausted by each beast they killed. When they wanted to withdraw, they suddenly discovered that many people's eyes had turned red after being surrounded by the beast tide. These people were pushing forward with all their might, and the experts at the front found that they could not pull back. They did not have the opportunity to withdraw, and their do key was exhausted. Before they could feel hopeless in their hearts, they would be ruthlessly bitten by the enormous bloody mouths of the ferocious beasts that were wildly pouncing over. After these people were bitten to death by the ferocious beasts, another group was pushed forward. They forcefully endured before the cycle repeated itself. There was no longer a need for anyone to urge this group at the moment. Everyone was charging forward in order to survive. Hence, there was an endless number of people being pushed to the front, becoming a sacrifice for the advancement of the group. Hence, as the group advanced further, the number of people also began to diminish. Many people lost their sense of reasoning because of these losses. The group started to lose control. Only a small group of people were able to retain their rational mind and tried their best to maintain their speed to avoid allowing themselves to be pushed by the human flow to the front. Xiao Yan's group was one such example. The expressions on the faces of Xiao Yan's group were filled with a seriousness as they looked at the rapidly shrinking contingent. Even some six or seven star du zuns were exhausted by these continuous battles. Finally, they were tossed into the ferocious beast crowd, torn into pieces in the blink of an eye, and swallowed into the stomachs of the ferocious beasts. These people. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the force that had shrunk ten times. He discovered Hun Yu's group at the back of the group with a gentle smile still Hun Yu's face. However, this smile appeared exceptionally sinister among the surrounding viscous blood and corpses. Big brother Xiao Yan, this force is about to be broken. We will follow if Hun Yu's group takes the lead and moves when the time comes. We will have to rely on ourselves to transverse the remaining route. Shunur's voice was suddenly transmitted into Xiao Yan's ears while his eyes were sweeping around. Xiao Yan nodded and slowly exhaled. His eyes glanced behind at the ferocious beasts and humans' corpses. These people had used all of their strength only to end up benefiting others for free. They had been used by Hun Yu without gaining anything. Bang. A completely black metal-like beast suddenly appeared at the front of the contingent. Its enormous fist ruthlessly smashed a couple of figures at the front. The frightening force smashed those people, whose do key had been exhausted, into mincemeat. Swoosh. While the people in front were being blocked by that extremely strong beast, Hun Yu's group pressed their toes on the ground. Their bodies leaped over everyone with lightning-like speed. Finally, they flashed by the enormous beast and charged forward. Follow them. Xiao Yan let out a cold snort when he saw Hun Yu finally abandon everyone. 
he waved his hand and his body took the lead to rush forward. Shunar and the rest quickly followed. Another few groups of people flew out the same time Xiao Yan's group moved. These people had already understood Hun Yu's schemes and were also intending on using the strength of the others to charge through the beast tide. After these people rushed forward, the remaining hundreds of people were pounced upon by the ferocious beasts around them. Miserable screams spread across over the sky. End of chapter. Chapter 1418. Breakthrough. Swoosh. Xiao Yan's group rushed through the air. Hun Yu's group was a couple thousand feet in front of them. They had not exhausted much Du Qi with their powerful strength. While the others became crazy after being pushed into the ferocious beasts, they had rested. Thus, they were prepared to break through. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over Hun Yu's group in front. After which, he glanced behind him. The group from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe was a short distance behind. The man with the colorful pupils, called Yu Feng, was leading them. The many Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe experts were guarding something behind him. Xiao Yan caught sight of Feng Kinger in this group. At this moment, she had woken up. Although a red handprint remained on her face, she, at the very least, had retained her life. Feng Kinger lifted her head, while Xiao Yan was observing the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe's group. Her eyes clashed with Xiao Yan's eyes as she grit her silver teeth. However, she held back this time around and did not dare to express the hatred in her heart. Xiao Yan's slap earlier had woken her up. Xiao Yan was unconcerned about Feng Kinger. Although her strength had soared, her future achievement was limited and would not pose much of a threat. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. After which, he looked further behind where a couple of groups were following them. These people possessed quite a great strength. From the looks of it, they understood the beast tide here relatively well. Hence, they had retained most of their strength and did not exhaust a large amount of Du Qi when they charged in earlier. We are still in the beast tide. I wonder if there will be even stronger ferocious beasts near the back. Xiao Yan lifted his head. The scarlet red beast seemed to have become sparser near the distant horizon. That place was likely the end of the beast tide. However, no one knew if there would be some extremely difficult to deal with ferocious beasts there. Although many ferocious beasts had appeared during this journey, the strongest one that Xiao Yan had met was only equivalent to a five-star Du Zun. He had not met any stronger ones. Roar. Many furious roars filled with violence once again rang out while Xiao Yan was in deep thought. He then vaguely sensed an additional pressure form around them. Have those people behind been finished off? Xiao Yan was quiet. There had been dozens of elite Du Zuns in that group. However, these numbers were not worth mentioning to this beast tide. Even though their resistance was extremely intense, it futile death was only a matter of time. The thing that caused Xiao Yan's heart to sink a little was that even with so many people, they were only able to endure for a short period of time. Everyone, be careful. Maintain the formation from earlier. Brother King Yang, the both of us will open a path up front. Xiao Yan gently exhaled. He leaped forward and appeared at the front of the group. He issued orders in a deep voice. Once those ferocious beasts' attention shifted away from those people behind, the pressure they would face would abruptly soar. Hence, they needed to begin to increase their advancement speed. Understood. Gu Qingyang also understood their current situation. He nodded and moved, appearing beside Xiao Yan as he did. The remaining people formed a triangular shape. The weakest were placed in the middle. The remaining people would take turns to fight. This tactic would enable them to sustain their advancement for a prolonged period of time. The beast tide has arrived. Charge. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around. All he saw was scarlet eyes, and all he heard was a heavy panting. A cold cry appeared as his speed suddenly increased. A hot heavenly flame surged out of his body and turned into a thousand-foot-large fire dragon that gave off a dragon roar. The fire dragon's large tail was violently swung, while its body forcefully killed hundreds of ferocious beasts with earth-shaking steps. See Flipping Seal. Gu King Yang unleashed hundreds of handprints when Xiao Yan attacked. His handprints whistled out and cleared the surrounding beasts. At the same time, Shunner, Kai Lin, Yun Yun, the little fairy doctor and the rest behind attacked. Vast and mighty Du Qi spread apart as the ferocious beasts within a hundred meter radius were completely eliminated. Their speed was not reduced while they attacked. Within the blink of an eye, they had charged a thousand feet forward. Their strength could be considered quite powerful. 
if they joined hands, they would be able to successfully charge across the plains if they did not meet any overly powerful ferocious beasts, but unleashing this heavenly flame form was extremely exhausting. However, this exhaustion did not pose much of a problem to Xiao Yan, who possessed many Du Qi recovery medicinal pills. Those fellows are really quick. Xiao Yan looked at Hun Yu while he maintained his speed. Hun Yu's group had finally unleashed their true strength at this moment. Not a single ferocious beast could charge into a thousand foot radius of them. Frightening Du Qi saturated the air around them like a chaotic wave, wildly killing any ferocious beasts that charged at them. How much longer? Xiao Yan controlled the fire dragon above his head. It whistled out and cleared away the ferocious beasts in front of his group. His mouth let out an inquiry in a deep voice at the same time. Although they could endure on, this continuous exhaustion was clearly not a solution. We have already reached the deepest parts of the beast tide. Based on this speed, we will be able to successfully break through in half an hour. Of course, the precondition is that we do not meet any troublesome beasts. Even we have never charged this far before until. All we can do is to rely on the information obtained from the clan and make a guess. Shunar quickly replied. Half an hour. Xiao Yan knit his brow when he heard how much longer it would take. The difficulty of charging through this beast tide was indeed extraordinary. If those people from earlier had not gone all out to charge forward, Xiao Yan's group would have found it even more difficult to charge through this beast tide. Increase our speed. Do not allow the beast tide to completely stop us. Xiao Yan softly cried out. The strength of his attack suddenly soared. At the same time, their speed suddenly increased. The people behind formed a tacit understanding as Xiao Yan's increased speed. They quickly followed and continued to clear the surroundings of the beast tide. This group of theirs was smaller than even an ant in this endless beast tide. Nevertheless, the strength that erupted from them was extremely powerful despite their small numbers, and the people here truly cooperated with each other. None of them were full of doubt like the people from earlier. Their advancement speed was not the least bit slower than the large contingent from earlier. A couple of groups were like small boats flowing against a current of an enormous beast tide. They swayed about and could overturn at any moment, but they ultimately remained afloat and charged through the growing strength of the beast tide with a constant speed, quickly reaching the end. Bang! Xiao Yan's palm blasted apart the head of a ferocious beast that had charged to within 50 feet from the group. After which, he once again acted with lightning-like speed as he forced back the ferocious beast on Gu Qingyang's left. Shunar intervened and quickly killed it. Thanks. Gu Qingyan forced back a couple of ferocious beasts with a strike of his palm. He quickly uttered words of thanks without turning his head. Some perspiration had formed on his forehead. Such a prolonged period of exhaustion was an extreme burden to him, and as he progressed deeper, the strength of the surrounding ferocious beasts had increased. By now, even if Xiao Yan, Gu Qingyang, and the rest attacked, they would need to attack a couple of times before they would be able to kill a ferocious beast. Their advancement speed had significantly slowed. If this continues, we will not be able to endure on even with the support of medicinal pills. Xiao Yan exhaled as he made a statement. Hun Yu's group has disappeared. Shunar's pretty eyes swept over the area in front of them as she suddenly said. They have already charged out. Gu King Yang was surprised as he exclaimed. Oh. Surprise flashed within Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this news. A joy quickly appeared on his face. We are reaching the end of the beast tide. Quick, increase our speed. Xiao Yan waved his hand. His mind was braced as his sluggish attacks became ferocious once again. A couple of handprints of flames were shot out, shaking a couple of huge nine-star dews on beasts until they were forced to pull back. His body took the opportunity to rush forward. Shunar and the rest quickly followed behind him. Xiao Yan's group suddenly became faster upon learning that they were about to break free from the beast tide. The Du Qi within their bodies completely erupted and forced aside the ferocious beasts that were pouncing over. Bang! Duki erupted from Xiao Yan's body and formed a fire dragon that ruthlessly smashed into a thousand-foot-large ferocious beast body in front of him. That powerful force blasted its body until a bloody fog formed. The large beast's body collapsed on the ground because of the great pain. Xiao Yan's group took this opportunity to fly through the air beyond it. Xiao Yan's body landed on the ground after flying out. Du Qi began to circulate within his body as a reflexive action, but he was stunned to find that no ferocious beasts had pounced over. Only then did he lift his head and sweep his eyes around. He discovered that his surroundings was completely empty. 
After turning his head, he saw a countless number of ferocious beasts were wildly roaring at them with scarlet eyes a hundred feet away, but they did not dare to charge over for some unknown reason. Have we charged out? Xiao Yan's group was startled when they saw the roaring beasts that did not dare approach. They heaved a sigh of relief within their hearts. Xiao Yan turned after sighing in relief. He looked ahead to see an enormous lush green ancient tree standing alone within the spacious plain 10,000 feet away. A clear air spread from above the ancient tree. It would occasionally transform into various shapes, appearing mysterious and unfathomable. Is this the legendary Bodhisattva ancient tree? Xiao Yan's heart began to pound as he looked at the ancient tree standing in the distance. An extremely old aura surrounded it. End of chapter. Chapter 1419. Five Ban Shengs. Bodhisattva Ancient Tree? Shunur and the rest discovered the ancient tree in the distance, while Xiao Yan was feeling stunned. Many exclamations were emitted from their mouths with some shock. This thing, which only existed in legends, was something that even they, from the ancient clans, had only been able to see in some ancient books. What a large tree! The little fairy doctor muttered. Even though they were extremely far from the Bodhisattva Ancient Tree, they were still able to sense just how enormous it was. Tree shadows spread and covered the ground, giving it the appearance of an ancient monster that stood between the sky and the earth. An extremely old and experienced feeling radiated from it. The members of the Hun clan are likely already there. We should hurry up. Xiao Yan suppressed the fiery heat within his heart. He waved his hand and took the lead to rush toward the ancient tree in the distance. Shunur and the rest behind him could not be bothered with resting as they quickly followed. Some commotion was once again transmitted from the beast tied behind after Xiao Yan's group moved. A couple of groups charged out in a miserable manner before they landed in this empty area. That is the Bodhisattva ancient tree? These people were still staggering on the ground when they saw the ancient tree that stood between the sky and the earth. A red color suddenly surged into their eyes. This color was reinforced when they saw Xiao Yan's group hurrying over. They were unable to remain still. Even the usually calmed Yu Feng frowned. He could not be bothered with resting as he commanded in a deep voice, follow them. Understood. The experts from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe clenched their teeth and nodded when they heard his order. Their bodies rushed forward, and they hurriedly chased after Xiao Yan's group. These people. Xiao Yan coldly laughed in his heart when he heard the sound of rushing wind transmitted from behind. He did not reduce his speed as he lifted his head and looked at the Bodhisattva ancient tree, which was growing larger in his eyes. A faint fear and respect rose from within his heart. No one would be able to remain calm in front of this divine being that had existed for an unknown amount of time. Xiao Yan's group was extremely quick. The tens of thousands of feet of distance was covered within a short few minutes. When Xiao Yan's group was about a thousand feet away from the Bodhisattva ancient tree, a group of people suddenly appeared in their line of sight. Hun Yu? Xiao Yan's group was startled when they saw this group. These people had remained here and waited for the others? Be careful. Xiao Yan softly warned. His speed gradually slowed. After which, he slowly landed a short distance behind Hun Yu. His eyes swept over the group. Subsequently, he lifted his eyes and looked at the Bodhisattva ancient tree a short distance away. Being this close to the Bodhisattva ancient tree was undoubtedly shocking. It looked like a towering pillar that supported the sky. Its trunk radiated an ancient aura. The branches of the Bodhisattva ancient tree were huge and could cover half of a city. Wave after wave of rich fresh air spread from the ancient tree. This caused the sky to occasionally form many mysterious phenomenons. Sunlight was currently scattering down from the sky. It landed on the ancient tree and gave it a somewhat crystal clear appearance. A powerful life force that shocked Xiao Yan's group spread over. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intensely at the indescribable Bodhisattva ancient tree. The clear air caused one to feel carefree and untroubled, but he vaguely felt an uneasiness for no reason. This uneasiness originated from Xiao Yan's powerful soul. He wasn't able to detect any immediate danger, since the uneasiness that he sensed was extremely obscure. One would not be able to sense it if one did not carefully feel for it. A natural treasure like the Bodhisattva ancient tree can be ranked top three across the Duki continent. It would be impossible if it did not radiate any danger. Additionally, if this ancient tree has really survived for a countless number of years, it should have already formed its own consciousness. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of contemplation. If this Bodhisattva formed a conscious and trained, it would undoubtedly be one of the most terrifying creatures within the Duki continent. The people here would likely be no match for it. Swoosh. 
The sound of rushing wind followed close behind while Xiao Yan's group was pondering some thoughts. The Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe and the other few groups hurried over. Finally, they looked at Xiao Yan's and Hun Yu's group before slowly landing. Hey, it was extremely difficult to come here. Why has everyone stopped? Ju Feng slowly walked forward and faintly laughed. Xiao Yan glanced at Ju Feng but did not speak. On the other hand, Hun Yu, who was in front of them, turned around. His original frown was relaxed as he laughed, ha ha, everyone is finally here. Since everyone's aim is the Bodhisattva ancient tree, I naturally waited for everyone. Everyone present smiled when they heard his words. Those who were able to arrive were extraordinary people. They had already seen through Hun Yu. This person might appear friendly on the surface, but his very bones were filled with a ruthlessness. Those who believed his words had remained in the beast tide. They had been turned into shattered meat before being devoured into the ferocious beast stomachs. Hun Yu was indifferent when he saw everyone's superficial smiles. A smile still appeared on his face. He pointed to the Bodhisattva ancient tree behind him and said, this is our aim. Although we have broken through the beast tide, the most difficult thing to deal with is still the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Oh. Everyone's heart shook when they heard his words. Their eyes paused on Hun Yu's face. There is a record on a scroll within our Hun clan that an ancestor had once come to the Bodhisattva ancient tree. However, contact with him was eventually lost. By the time the experts from my clan had received news, both he and the Bodhisattva ancient tree had completely disappeared. Hun Yu laughed. Although I do not know what happened to that ancestor, he most likely died. It is likely that he fell to the hands of the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Additionally, the strength of this ancestor was a Ban Sheng. Ban Sheng? The expressions of Xiao Yan's group changed. Even a Ban Sheng expert had gone missing because of this Bodhisattva ancient tree? Therefore, everyone should not underestimate this Bodhisattva ancient tree. The most dangerous thing during this trip will be that. Hun Yu slowly explained. The reason that you are waiting here is because you do not wish to head there alone, right? Gu King Yang glanced at Hun Yun and remarked. Hun Yu smiled, but did not deny Gu King Yang's words. He rotated his body and slowly walked toward the enormous Bodhisattva ancient tree. Since everyone had arrived, they would all get to see the mysteries of this Bodhisattva ancient tree. Hun Yu was not afraid that the others would not follow because he understood the allure of the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Be careful. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over Hun Yu's back and the distant Bodhisattva ancient tree. He softly uttered those words before lifting his leg to follow. Regardless of whether Hun Yu was speaking the truth, it was impossible for them to give up so easily after spending so much to reach this place. Everyone nodded. After which, they followed Xiao Yan. Du Qi quietly began to circulate around his body. Yu Feng and the other few groups behind Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before choosing to follow. Their thoughts were the same as Xiao Yan's. They had spent so much effort to arrive. Gaps formed between the various groups as they traveled across the spacious grassy plains. They adopted a similar pace as they slowly headed toward the towering tree. Young Master Xiao Yan, something is not quite right with the Bodhisattva ancient tree. That clear air, which seems to be filled with life, hides a somewhat dark and chilly miasma. It's filled with many negative emotions similar to those of humans. King Lin suddenly spoke with a grave face as the group walked closer to the Bodhisattva ancient tree. Xiao Yan's footsteps momentarily paused when he heard her words. His eyes narrowed. He was naturally unable to sense such a thing, but King Lin possessed the triple jade green snake flower pupils. Hence, Xiao Yan did not doubt her words, and he was able to vaguely sense the uneasy feeling from earlier become more prominent as he approached the Bodhisattva ancient tree. While the caution within Xiao Yan's heart soared, Hun Yu's group at the front suddenly halted. They stood quite close to the Bodhisattva ancient tree. The towering, vast, lush, and green tree covered the sky above them. Only after getting this close did Xiao Yan's group gradually feel an extremely obscure chill slowly seep into their bones. Xiao Yan lifted his head. His eyes focused on the enormous Bodhisattva ancient tree. Its tree branches were a thousand feet in size with a bright cluster near the center. This light cluster looked like a ten-foot large energy heart. A powerful heartbeat was vaguely emitted from the light cluster. Bodhisattva heart. Many eyes gathered on the light cluster that was hidden by the body of the enormous tree. Their hearts violently pounded at this moment. Crash. After the words Bodhisattva heart were emitted from the mouths of some people, the Bodhisattva ancient tree, which had been standing quietly within this grassland, suddenly emitted a crashing sound. 
Everyone watched as the tree branches twined together before being lowered. These tree branches slowly split apart upon making contact with the ground, and five expressionless figures slowly stepped away from them. The very space around them began to fluctuate after these five figures stepped forward. A frightening pressure suddenly spread from them. Elite Ban Shengs. The faces of everyone present became ugly when they sensed this pressure, because they had discovered that these five figures were actually all elite Ban Shengs. End of chapter. Chapter 1420. Killing Ban Sheng Puppets. Everyone felt their skin become slightly numb when they saw the five figures appear in front of the Bodhisattva ancient tree. They would not have imagined that there were Ban Sheng class experts hidden within this Bodhisattva ancient tree. Five elite Ban Sheng there is no life in them. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath. He suppressed a shock in his heart. His eyes suddenly swept over the five figures before twitching. Nor are their souls present. They are merely puppets. Shunar softly came to a conclusion. Her face was filled with a seriousness. Puppet. One need not use one's head to know that these elite Bansheng's had been turned into puppets by this Bodhisattva ancient tree. Everyone began to feel as though they were covered in a cold sweat when they thought of what happened. Turning an elite Bansheng into a puppet who across the continent possessed the frightening strength to do this? Once one reached the Bansheng class, one would be in existence close to the peak of the world. Bansheng's were a relatively powerful force even in the ancient clans, but experts of such a level had been captured and turned into puppets. This scene undoubtedly caused everyone present to feel a chill in their hearts. Hun Yu's expression had become relatively ugly because of these puppets, especially after his eyes landed on a skinny black-robed elite Ban Sheng. The shock in his eyes had suddenly reached as dense as it could get. Isn't this our missing Ban Sheng ancestor? The one said to have disappeared with the Bodhisattva ancient tree in the old texts of the clan? The faces of everyone involuntarily twitched upon hearing Hun Yu's exclamation. Their eyes looked at the black-robed Ban Sheng. At this moment, his face was hollow, and his eyes did not contain the slightest ripple. The figure's skin vaguely showed signs of cracking from being too dry. The puppet did not display any reaction to Hun Yu's voice. What should we do now? Gu King Yang's face was grave. Five elite Ban Shengs was a lineup that could only be described with the word horrifying. Even if all of them here were to combine their strength, they would probably still be no match for this lineup, despite their numerical superiority. Xiao Yan frowned. His eyes glanced at the light cluster being emitted from the Bodhisattva ancient tree. The Bodhisattva heart was in front of him. He really did not possess the decisiveness to give it up so easily. We should be able to hold against an elite Ban Sheng if our group join hands. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced at the lineup beside him. Shunar and Gu King Yang were all experts at the peak of the Du Zun class. Shunar was on the eighth change, while Gu King Yang was on the sixth change. Adding Xiao Yan, whose strength was comparable to a sixth or seventh change expert, as well as Kai Lin, the little fairy doctor, Yun Yun, King Cheng, Gu Hua, Gu Li, and the rest, should be able to fight against an elite Ban Sheng. However, there was more than just one elite Ban Sheng here. There were five of them. Everyone, is there anyone who wishes to give up now and leave? From the looks of it, as long as we do not advance further, these Ban Sheng puppets will not attack. In other words, we still have a chance to retreat now if we wish to. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before turning his head to inquire in a feigned voice. Everyone present knit their brows upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. Finally, they shook their heads. Since no one wishes to withdraw, we can only try and engage in an all-out fight. Our side has seven groups. My group will block one elite Ban Sheng. The other four will be distributed among the rest of you. What do you say? Among the groups that had arrived, there was the Hun clan and the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe, besides Xiao Yan's group. Xiao Yan had never met the other four groups before, but it was likely that they belonged to some other factions within the Central Plains. Their lineup might not be comparable to Xiao Yan, Hunya, or Ju Feng, but they could not be underestimated. Each of their groups had at least two experts who had reached the peak of the Du Zun class. We can block one of them. Hun Yu glanced at Xiao Yan, but he did not cause any trouble at this moment. He understood that if someone really chose to withdraw, the remaining people would definitely not be able to fight with the five elite Ban Shengs. Leave one of them to us. Ju Feng hesitated for a moment before taking one. These experts might be frightening, but they were only puppets and could not compare to a genuine Ban Sheng. They should be able to fight these puppets by relying on their large numbers. The remaining two Ban Shengs will be left to the other four groups. What do you say? 
Xiao Yan's eyes jumped between the remaining four groups. The strength of any single one of these groups might not be comparable to Xiao Yan's, but it should be possible for two groups to deal with one Ban Sheng puppet alone. I. The people in the four groups looked at each other after hearing Xiao Yan's words. After which, they looked at the spot where the Bodhisattva heart was before violently nodding. They were willing to risk it because of the temptation of the Bodhisattva heart. Since no one has any objections. Let's attack. Xiao Yan slowly exhaled. His expression became extremely grave. This was the first time he would be fighting an elite Ban Sheng. Although the fighting strength of this puppet was not comparable to a genuine Ban Sheng, it was still ultimately an expert who could be considered a Sheng, no matter how one put it. Anything that was even the least bit related to this word could be considered extremely powerful. Xiao Yan slowly took three steps forward after his final word sounded. Du Qi whistled from within his body in all directions. Bang! Those five unmoving statue-like puppets' empty eyes suddenly landed on Xiao Yan when he took a third step forward. Their hollow eyes remained watching him as one of them stepped forward with a stiff and unusual gait. It appeared in front of Xiao Yan in a flash. That figure did not speak as a frightening palm shattered space and slammed toward Xiao Yan with lightning-like speed. Xiao Yan stomped his foot on the ground as the Ban Sheng puppet ferociously attacked. An enormous lava pillar shot out of the ground and violently collided with the puppet. However, the lava pillar, which was strong enough to force an ordinary nine-star dues unback and cough out blood, only caused that Ban Sheng's puppet to tremble. The ferocious palm wind continued to slam toward Xiao Yan without any changes. Bang bang bang. Over a dozen extremely powerful Du Qi pillars suddenly whistled from behind Xiao Yan when the Ban Sheng puppet's attack was about to strike him. All of them struck the puppet. With the combined attacks of so many people, even an expert who had reached the top of the ninth change of the Peak Du Zun class would not dare to forcefully receive them all, yet this Ban Sheng puppet received the attacks, even though its palm attack was shattered. Attack. While Xiao Yan's group was beginning to exchange blows with a Ban Sheng puppet, Hun Yu's group did not delay any longer. They let out a cold cry. Many figures rushed out at the same time and surrounded the Ban Sheng puppet from the Hun clan. Ancestor, we will help relieve you of your pain. Hun Yu looked at the hollow faced puppet and spoke in a faint voice. After which, he charged forward. There were over ten extremely powerful Hall of Souls experts swiftly following behind him. Majestic Du Qi began to pester that Ban Sheng puppet. Ju Feng's group and the others also began to act after Xiao Yan's and Hun Yu's group did. They unleashed the Du Qi within their bodies to the limit. After which, they wildly charged forward and encircled the remaining three Ban Sheng puppets in separate areas. In an instant, frightening Du Qi spread over the spacious plains. The Du Qi was like sharp wind that devastated the surroundings. Although they had an advantage in numbers, not one of them was a genuine Ban Sheng. Hence, this would undoubtedly be an extremely miserable battle. Bang! Gu Hua and Gu Xing rushed down from the air as Du Qi erupted from both of their palms in all directions. Their Du Qi violently smashed into the back of that Ban Sheng puppet, but their incomparably ferocious attack appeared like a rock sinking in the ocean when it landed on the Ban Sheng puppet. Their bodies shook while a terrifying force followed their arms and surged into them. Grug! With the reflection of such a frightening force, the defenses on both Gu Hua and Gu Xing were instantly destroyed. Their bodies flew back before they were hurriedly received by a couple of flower sect elders. Both parties had already exchanged blows for 20 minutes since they had begun to fight. On Xiao Yan's side, the flower sect elders would momentarily lose their fighting strength if they came into contact with some of the forceful wind from the puppet. Fortunately, Xiao Yan, Gu Qingyang, Shunner, and the other main pillars of strength were powerful. Hence, they were able to firmly restrain this Ban Sheng puppet. Attack its head. Xiao Yan cried out loud. The puppet was without life. Other than bursting apart its head, it was basically impossible to stop a puppet. King Kong glass body. Octane blast. A golden glow suddenly surged from Xiao Yan's body when his cry sounded. His body suddenly swelled at this moment. His fist, which seemed to be made of metal, took advantage of when the Ban Sheng puppet's attention was attracted by Gu King Yang. He swung his fist into the puppet's head with lightning-like speed. Bang! Xiao Yan's fist, which contained a frightening strength, ruthlessly smashed into the puppet's head. A powerful force shook the Ban Sheng puppet's head until some cracks formed, but no fresh blood flowed from those cracks. Clearly, these puppets' bodies had dried after a countless number of years of weathering. 
The Ban Sheng puppet suddenly turned when the punch hit its head. Its stiff arm was slammed into Xiao Yan's shoulder like a bolt of lightning. Clang. Xiao Yan's body staggered over a dozen steps back after being struck by the Ban Sheng puppet. Part of his shoulder had even been dented in. However, it was fortunate that his body had become extremely hard after activating the King Kong glass body. There was also the existence of the insect emperor cloth and the dragon phoenix ancient armor protecting him. These factors helped him to not split out blood and fly backwards. Continue attacking its head. Destroy it. Great silent destruction finger. Shunar and Gu King Yang attacked at the same time. Gu King Yang's face was solemn as his hand seals rapidly changed. Two enormous energy fingers that carried an annihilation aura suddenly broke through the sky and furiously pressed down on the Ban Sheng puppet's head with lightning-like speed. Great silent destruction finger. Behind Shunar and Gu King Yang, Gu Hua and Gu Xin also unleashed this extremely powerful Tian class Du skill with pale faces. Two somewhat dim energy fingers quickly appeared. Bang. Colorful thunderbolts seemed to have gathered in the sky at this moment before striking the Ban Sheng puppet. The thunderbolt attack was from Kai Lin. Everyone seemed to have attacked at the same time as if they had made a tacit agreement. Many frightening attacks simultaneously landed on the Ban Sheng puppet's head. The body of that Ban Sheng puppet suddenly trembled as so many frightening attacks accumulated. The head of the puppet, where many crack lines had appeared because of Xiao Yan's attack earlier, emitted a bang and suddenly disappeared. End of chapter.